All right, we are back. We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, we have a very special, special, special guest, right. Mr. Omar you guys, Hassan. You made the back. mistake of bringing me back, <laughs> dude. I'm already happy you're here, dude. Same, One more time, same. that's three strikes, you're out, son. <laughs> We're already having the best time ever, and the cameras have weren't even rolling all yet. Right, all right. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, I'm stoked. Like, dude. obviously... We're all still here. We went. This my first one was pre-pandemic. Yes, oh, yeah. we made it through that. that now one. we're here without masks. That was four mm-hmm. years, uh, three years ago. Living, yeah. yeah. Ti, just living that, my we're, life. We're, we're, <laughs> <pretty far. laughs> oh, we're already going. Yeah, with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, no, I'm just saying though. Oh like, no, no, no. I thought yeah, you were ready yeah, to freestyle. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm just we'll throwing break, that we'll one out. We'll I always wonder what that song was about, but now I, I, I get the well, idea. Well, of what, Omar, you're very good at about. you're very good at this. We might get a copyright strike because you're yeah, so good, right? Yeah. So relax. Or, he, or he'll come over here and talk with me about it right here on the Nine Club. Could oh, you yeah. imagine? Be awesome. This U and Ti yeah, hanging yeah. out, <laughs> Atlanta, son. <laughs> Cali in Atlanta. Uh, <laughs> love it. Listen, we were just talking before the show. This episode is is literally going to be right before your birthday. So happy pre birthday! Yeah, yeah. Appreciate that. Twenty seven years old, made man. it. Still... Just boom out the womb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no helmet. Happy birthday, though. Happy Thanks, birthday, sir. dude. Definitely yeah, no, birthday. dude. To be we honest, are... I I I don't like age. But you got to just go with it at well, that point. You know there's nothing you could do. There's no like that. Yeah, it's like. Dude, I wish it was the other way around. Yeah. Hey, that Chris Rock, actually, a while ago, he, he explained it best. He's like, you come out with one little piece of hair and one little tooth, and then you get old, and you only have one little piece of hair and one little tooth. <laughs> it seems like you got you got all your teeth, so... I mean, you got I mean, kind of. This yeah. one's broke. It's been broke. I keep putting it back, and it coming out. What do you mean you keep putting it back? Eat an apple with this thing once it gets fixed, <laughs> and it's just instantly... And it's in the apple, and then I'm like, all right, whatever. How is your body still activated at this point in time i mean uh, we listen not only i, I want to just give you your praise you are incredible skateboarder hands down so good straight up yep. but you take some slams you really do it's go called, down hard it's just like human growth hormones oh wait do you, are you on that, <laughs> <You're> on that. <laughs> you no, do a lot of weird i'm all organic son that's what's <laughs> even the we need to go to science with this thing. <laughs> no, nah, man, I get hurt a lot though. It's not like something that's like I, I, I feel great. Like it's it. There's a lot of battle, a lot of lot of tussle and hustle and bustle with it. Like if you're a real skateboarder, you're gonna want to ride a skateboard. Yeah. And even if you're hurt, you battle through all kinds of issues and mental issues, physical issues, and crews that want to skate, crews that don't want to skate, crews that quit crews that start true, <laughs> true. and just to be true. a part of all that to be honest like i think one of my major motivations is um not just being a, a skateboarder but being a fan of skateboarding mm-hmm. and you know passing the torch and i never think of myself as like i i, don't, I didn't do this for any reasons but the feeling that i get and the, and the friends that came along with it along the way you know what i mean right and um I don't know. The pleasure that I get out of it is like traveling and meeting friends. Like I've been so many cool places around the world and besides skating cool spots, I've got to really meet some really cool people. And that is even more cool than just just the skate spot. hundred percent. Like, like recently, for example, we went to Barcelona and I, I got the, lucky enough to be on that trip and there was people that I had met and had met and seen all the spots that people are skating out there and the way skateboarding is out there like even at mock up mock bar or whatever is like yeah. just that alone but then we got out of there and we went on trips and tours but just to see skating and meet all these new kids and the energy that you get from people mm-hmm. actually appreciating what you do and, and then i have total appreciation for what they do so it's like it's a mutual agreement for sure for yeah. sure and he, you'd been out to barcelona before right yeah yeah, yeah okay okay i'm just making sure because uh it's the best city in the I world i went out to, to barcelona in like 1989 or something <laughs> I think too. Cha- like, has it changed it's i mean changed a little, a little bit, bit. Yeah. Yeah. it's been a little more of a, a scene there yeah <laughs> um but you know like i was just thinking about that the other day like um the, there you go harry yeah, Lynn. Yeah. like there's certain people that i get to interact with mm-hmm. and the relationships that you make with these dudes 
our like forever. Yeah, for sure. True. And and battling and skating and and being a part of that, like at at, at being twenty one. It's really awesome. It's an awesome. I mean, feeling. you haven't even lived life yet. You know, you haven't even lived hey, life. I, got, I can drink now. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. How's Doobie, by the way? Doobie is he's his, okay. That his, guy. His energy is infectious. Like, it really is. I, I want to say, like, a lot of people should take Doobie as a perfect example of. You can be a great skateboarder. You could rip. You could, you know, be super talented, but personality and talent. Goes a lot, like a lot farther. Sure, yeah, no doubt. Sure. And you get a lot more entertainment out of your life. You get a lot more appreciation. And you know, when Doobie shows up, not only does he just look crazy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he acts crazy, he skates crazy. He's like the and he the energy in the room changes, and he's just a very, very unique, special person. And not everyone has that. Right. So no Doobie's definitely like top of the chart, like top of the charts as far as just being like. One of the coolest dudes I've ever met. It's funny because you can see that it translates through the screen. I mean, I've never met Doobie. I've seen okay. all these videos Doobie that he's in. cannot come to America. I, this is what I've heard. And yeah. it was because of a, a plane flight. I'm sure yeah. he will. I mean, it's a temporary right. thing. Yeah, it's not forever. But, I mean, imagine trying to tame Doobie on a plane, and he's so excited to come to America that they have to actually turn him around because it's, he's just having too You're much too fun. Excited, yeah, 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 You're like, too excited. You're too excited. You've got to go back. You can't, you can't it, he, come. He, hey, but... He will make it here, yeah. and when he does. But what's cool is he doesn't even have to. Right. You yeah. know, it's yeah. like I grew up in Costa Mesa, Newport Beach, and that scene was so big there that we didn't really have to go far, you know? Mm. We had a, such a huge skate scene. Totally. I mean, traveling was, like, cool, but, I mean, I feel like that's where Doobie's at, too, in, in, in his life is he's creating such a cool vibe there. It would almost be hard for, for him to be, like, out of his zone, mm. Because he'd be missed, and he's doing so much there that it makes he's creating a whole scene for French skateboarding, oh, totally Spanish skateboarding, whatever Europe in general, you know. Yeah. And he just turned pro for Anti Hero. That wow. was amazing too. So um, well deserved. Yeah, I, I'm just stoked. And the baguette, the baguette. What do you mean? I'll tell you guys later. Okay. <laughs> No, it's cool for us because we've been watching him from the show for a long time. It's an time. underground thing. That that's all I gotta say. Okay. Does it involve bread? Well, we'll tell us later. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, tell yeah, you later. Yeah, the baguette. It's not appropriate. It's, yeah. yeah, I guess not. But it's a thing, and he but he rules. <laughs> <laughs> Does he hollow it out? Okay, well, listen, we'll, we'll talk about it you know, later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Independent just released the uh, documentary. Yeah. Yes. They're yeah, amazing. you know what? I got um, really lucky on that because uh, I want to say... When we we decided to do this truck, but it was like a thirty year anniversary type truck, so I I don't know. Like I've said before, I'm always a huge advocate of um, you know brand loyalty type thing. Mm -hmm, you know, I've rode mm -hmm. for Black Label forever. I, I've rode for Independent forever. I feel like if someone's gonna embrace you, then you need to embrace them back. And through the good times, bad times, they're cool, they're not cool. Vans is a perfect example because mm. they've carried me through my whole childhood into my adulthood. And For now sure. that I'm 21, they're still <laughs> supporting me. <laughs> like I said, you haven't even lived life yet. But no, yeah, like, so I felt like when they did that for me, it was not only like, I, di I didn't take it as like, dude, what about, I deserve this. What about me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't you know who I think I am? <laughs> <laughs> Because that's how a lot of people think too, you know. And I know like, that's how I think. I'm waiting for them to dude. put a dog. I've been, I need to go down there. You and need talk a to nine them. club dog. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you guys are slipping on him right now. You guys should no, be putting we're not that together. Slipping. I need. To, I need out. to have a talk with all you guys after right. the show. You know what I mean? Shit. But Let's demand it. I mean, yeah, that's kind of one of the things that like I got just offered. They put it on the table, and I'm like, well do a, a 30 year anniversary doc with the truck mm. like okay it's a no brainer as far as like that sounds cool and then but it's not as easy as it, as it seems you know what? we had we had six stair put it together cuz you have to have okay. the right people kind of capture it and it, and it wasn't necessarily about like it's a 15 minute mini doc mm -hmm. if it's like a lords of dogtown thing you need there's a lot of research and development and r&d but when you're putting something together in 6 months that needs to just be like for people to understand your 
why they're even doing it. it, it it's the mini doc thing was a little bit more like made sense. And then with Buddy and Rick at Sixter, mm-hmm. they definitely like can capture it, you know, through all the, the Grosso love letters and, and yeah. all, you know, you watch what they do and you're like, all right, those guys are the perfect candidates for it. Sure. And you can't, I mean, you had 30 years and 15 minutes. Good luck. Yeah. Good yeah. luck. Yeah. I mean, exactly. you I'm sure you're just going through your garage was was a I don't even know how you put everything back in there. Good God. Man. And I'm not like one to watch myself. Oh, you haven't watched <laughs> I mean, watched I, it. I watched it one time with my daughter and but I'm not like one to like you know, he's like he, buddy's like, "Hey, let's let's check this. You know, you want to see it?" I'm like, "Not really because like <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how to do a documentary like you're not going to tell me how to ride a skateboard." Sure. Yeah. Sure. So, what's the point of me sitting there and be like, "But I need to change this and do that," and like, no, just let it, just it's organic. So, were you happy yeah. with it though? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. I, I can't, dude. Anyone that's gonna do anything for you that's out of like, we're doing this for you. Yeah. I'm not gonna have judgment on it, and sure. I, I definitely was like, more. I was just more like taken back on the fact that they wanted to do that, and then it was more like humbled. Then I was like mm-hmm. trying to tell him what more needed to be done or who needs to do it. And that's super thanks to Rhino and Gavin because th- those guys went way out of their way. And then Remy, uh, we hosted it at the Volcom Warehouse. And that that kind of blew up pretty good, too, just because it was like we turned it into a party that went along with a documentary. And it was like and R- Rob Trujillo brought his uh, son's band Otto to play. And so we kind of made it like, it's like, you know, we're all in this thing together. Right. So it's, right. it's like, it just was a beautiful moment and beautiful part and thing of my life that happened. And I'm like, there's nothing I would take back or something I'd change or there's no like um, critiquing. Sure. Right. sure. What, a, what was it like to see all that stuff again? You probably haven't seen a lot of that footage for, <laughs> for a long time. No, I watch it every day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and the trophies you've yeah. had, you have. I mean, there's this trophies. thing called the web, and I just Google myself yeah. all day long. That's so you see it all. You remember all this yeah. stuff very well, okay? Uh, honey, honey, like, tonight, no Netflix. We are watching. Yeah. I Google my myself old to see if there's anything video. new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Is there anything new? <laughs> but even going through your garage, I mean, you have trophy after trophy yeah, after trophy. That was an aftermath trophy. thing. It's crazy. That was an aftermath thing. Hey, man, right here in Venice. Yeah. We used to have so... Dude, that's the thing. It's the same thing. Because when we're talking about traveling, right? Um, w- you know, meeting Harry Lintel and, mm-hmm. and Doobie. And uh, I forgot to bring up Harry, and, uh, obviously, and, and Don Von Linderman. And, sure. and we're on that trip in Spain. You know, Julian happened to be there. We're on the so other sorry. side of the world, right? That other side of the world used to be... L.A. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Now you got to go. San Diego. Yeah, yeah. Now you got to go on the other side I, of the yeah. world to like, see. Growing up, there. this was like, like, it was like Northern California and Southern California. You know what I mean? And like that was our like, we'd have contests and it would be like, but contests have always been something that you just go to meet up and like see people like a like reunion, high right. school reunion, mm-hmm. and then you bail and you go out and skate. But like. Venice had a, always had a really heavy scene here. You know what I mean? And, like, yeah. I want to say, dude, look at how many awesome skateboarders came out of L.A. and Venice. And then, you know, it's so crazy to me because growing up even younger when we were doing the Blockhead thing with Rick Howard and seeing all the stuff that girl did. Mm-hmm. And I am a really huge fan of Rick Howard because I feel like everything he's done has been independently owned by... And, and, and really kind of like going out on a limb to start something and try something new and create a scene. Totally. And at I, such a young age. At yeah. such a young age. The dude's, a, the dude's like, and, and even as a kid, he learned a lot of that through Dave Bergfold from Blockhead hmm. because he lived at, at the Blockhead house. And he we used to it. torture the shit out of <laughs> Dave Bergfold, dude. Like, really? Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> he was bummed. Because we were just underage, like, buy his beer. Um... Then we're inviting girls over to the Blockhead house. And then, like, <laughs> all of a sudden, we, but Rick would stay there for months at a time and see the recipe and formula that Dave had to do to mm-hmm. create Blockhead through the garage and through how to, like, silk screen and create graphics with Ron Cameron. And, like, he became really tight with Dave and those. And then as time went on, when they did, you know, when he got on Plan B and all that, after a while, I was like, I'm doing it on my own. But I want to say those years were really the years that, Rick 
the learning foundation. So yeah, sucked it all in, and like he was like a fruit, you know, like just on the vine and just ripe into this fucking guy that just he, he nailed it. Definitely. So the blockhead house was Dave's house. It was Dave Berkthold's house. Okay. And that, that's where the ramp was. That's where the blockhead ramp and was. And like Steve Barra. And, uh, I mean, dude, we had everyone come through there. It was but, a hot spot. But at yeah. the time, okay, yeah. you, you think about that time, and, it, and it, it goes into a lot of different areas with, with, with Dave Bergthold. And I'm giving him props because he sponsored Jason Dill, Rick Howard, and then when he went into, um, I forget the other name of the company, Invisible. Mm, he oh, had, wow. Yeah, he had, yeah. like, Jamie Thomas, yep. had Jeremy Ray. A lot of those guys got their idealism and how to really understand skateboarding and create a skateboard company through that guy. Mm. And he he's almost like a hidden savant that people yeah. don't really, really he's bring up. He's a guru. Up. He's a guru. He's a guru, dude. He's got the, the magic ball. Like, <laughs> it's <in> the crystal. <laughs> but no, but I mean, though. and, and yeah. the, the, the biggest one of them is Rick with when it came to Dave. I feel like they had a really great relationship. Mm. It was like his dad. Okay. Straight up his dad. And, and and Rick will attest to that because he was all of our dads. And we put right. him through hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we still I fucked that. that dude up. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> we really did. We was down in San Diego? Is that where the Yeah, that was in Fallbrook, San Diego. And that's like way before stuff was developed. Now they have like a road that goes like that 78 or whatever it is that goes. Back then it was like took like two hours to get there and you're in there and like. But yeah, no, Rick, Rick, Rick's a... Um, a huge inspiration to me in my life. I feel like uh, his energy and such a such a just awesome dude right. and his skating skills speak for itself. He's just well rounded in life. Definitely, I agree with you. Yeah, I I, I think it's rad though. I mean, because you turned pro for for Blockhead, yeah. nineteen ninety, um, eighty nine. How- <laughs> no, I thought you were 21. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, so yeah. confused no, now. Yeah, this yeah, like, that's, yeah. I said what's two, timeline? 2019 this, is exactly yeah. what it said. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I have to put all this stuff together <laughs> after the show. I'm not really sure. I don't think his uh, headphones are working over here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Grab my calculator. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah, know, yeah. My I'm abacus. going to get the years right My here. abacus. But you had one of the most iconic graphics coming mm-hmm. out of there. Um. Well, because at the time... The magic carpet. It was like right before there were a bunch of companies. True. True. Right yes. before Rocco yep. turned skateboarding into... not. I'm using Rocco as a reference, so no disrespect to Rocco, because I think... Well, his... They changed it's they totally changed everything. <clears throat> because yeah, yeah, for sure. there was a certain amount of companies, and right after about 92, 93, right when Rocco came into the scene... And they started blind, and then all of a sudden it started with like more people just creating companies. Graphics kind of became uh, like what used to Turn last for like a year. Yeah, lasted for like six months, and then went from six months to maybe like three months. You like, were, your, like, like your graphic, every month. Was, your graphic. Like, we were just talking about this mm-hmm. earlier. Like your graphic, I think was like on the tail end of like yeah. Again, it was on the like the wall for like a year. Yeah, y- y- for sure. Take, you know and you know mean? what's funny about that? That you say that because mm-hmm. as a kid growing up. You know, they used to have in Thrasher, all the shops would have ads, and you see the boards on there? Oh, yeah, and, like, yeah, the yeah. graphics mm-hmm. on there, you're like, and I had a couple years with, like, two or three years with the board was on there with, like, Powell still and, sure, and Vision, sure. and then after that, it was like, there's just too many boards for a shop to be put in. And oh, you'd yeah. have, like, you'd, you'd have to have, like, a whole magazine in itself for all the graphics. You had to be very selective. Think about it nowadays, though. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm it's, saying. It's, it's, it's quadruple, it's yeah. t- 10X. I could start t- my own X'd. company. Yeah, well, all, and turn anybody pro. All of us right now. Exactly. Hey, all no, of that's, us right. that's the reality. I could go. I could go yeah. to. The, I could go to the bar right now. <laughs> find the drunkest dude there. <laughs> turn it pro. I mean, like, you're cool. You're making a scene. You're marketable. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna go to my local shops yeah. and sell this. Someone's board to gonna them. buy it. <laughs> right. Yeah. One asshole out there will buy it. Pause. Pause podcast. Okay. I need to tell you guys that this episode is brought to us by Athletic Greens. Ooh, we love Athletic Greens. We do. This is gold in a box, right? Love this stuff. <laughs> With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and Kelly's favorite thing in the whole world, aptogens. I love there aptogens. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system. Your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. Well, not only that. Ooh, tell me, Drone. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, 
no nasty chemicals or artificial anything while still tasting good. Nothing budget, only nothing, buttery, right? Nothing budget, yeah, please. Yeah. But it also supports better sleep quality and recovery as well. Tons of people take multivitamins, but mm. it's important that you choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb. And it's also better when you, you know, uh, not to have a full medicine cabinet full of, you know, supplements. Oh, man. You know, wait, wait so I can get rid of all my supplements? Yeah, I was just over at Kelly's house the other day, opened the cup, I was hit with supplements. Get the trash can. Yeah. <laughs> Throw them in there. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your oh. first purchase. All you have to do is just visit athleticgreens.com slash nine club. That's N-I-N-E-C-L-U-B. Again, athleticgreens.com slash nine club. Take ownership of your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance today, there which is. is Athletic Greens. <laughs> Take over your health now. We, can we find this graphic? I Do we have it on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here it is right here. Mm. There it is. Oh. Yeah, so that was a Ron Cameron um, edition special. And you know what's funny about that is that graphic right there is when you had to have like hand-drawn art and it wasn't so mm. computer ge computer generated. You couldn't find like things to put on a computer and make a graphic out of. Right. Sure. So I feel like also with Ron Cameron's art, it went a long way, you know. If you if you look at the Rick Howard skunk graphic, like mm -hmm. this is all hand drawn by one artist, and that's why I feel like Santa Cruz is a huge, mm. huge. I mean, the Phillips guy is like made a mark. His art is special. Mm. Powell, the, what was his name? The uh, guy who did all the art. Um, he used to he worked for Blind After as well. Um, Clive. Clive. Cliver. Yeah. Oh, Clive. Yeah. Sean Clive. Sean, Sean Cliver. Mark McKee. There, I mean, there's certain people that can create uh, an art that matches the person mm -hmm. and create a, like an like an identity through a board and this sounds no disrespect to anyone but you don't even have to be great at skateboarding if you have such a good artist that can capture your personality like that. For sure. Well, we talk about it on the show all the time, like even these guys from the 80s who maybe weren't the guys but they were making 40 grand a month. Dude. Mm -hmm. 40 John grand Lucero. a month. I ride for John Lucero. Yeah. Perfect example. Wasn't that good? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he invented the slappy. He all got right? lucky. So next he time you lucky. go out and do a slappy, there you go. You better recognize <laughs> son. <laughs> but John, we love John, John made a lot of money. No, no, no. Though. Hey, yeah. let me John tell you something about John Lucero. Money. John Straight Lucero up. is the most smartest human being when it comes to marketing, like skateboarding, mm. because not only is he a great artist, but he can put art to a personality and capture that through a graphic mm -hmm. that makes it may sell it may not sell because <laughs> there's some boards that have just dumped on my end of the stick <laughs> and you no. blame john for that no, yeah, 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 yeah it's all john's fault <laughs> no but i'm saying like even back in the day he did all those schmidt sticks graphics mm -hmm. like jeff grosso is a full identity of what john's work and art is. For sure. It's not I like that anymore. No. And and not only were they best friends, but he would like capture his, like the blocks on the doll and, or like mm -hmm. any of the stuff that John would do for, for Jeff was out of his heart. And not only that, but you have to have a special art skill, you know, true, and true. Mark Gonzalez. I mean, if it wasn't for Mark's art and his way of, of, you know, personality and his skills and it just, it's, it's, it's a com combination of things that make it all work. Yeah. It's telling a story also, right? Well, it's sure, like, you know, dude. even when, when World and R the Rocco days and everything, like those boards, even how provocative they were and how crazy they were too, they it, it all told a story. Rocco was genius. Outsiders looking in, you can you still felt something from that this vibe that these graphics were giving Rocco out and what was those the, people were dude, about. Yeah. Rocco was totally. the first person to right. turn it absolutely X-rated. Yeah. <laughs> and, but like... In a way where you he, can't do these graphics no, nowadays. No, dude. Remember yeah. the Randy Colvin one, yeah. bro? Hey, it the came Randy, in a bag. It came in a bag, and you had to like have your mom go because you had to be over twenty. Raj yeah. told him to get Raj, it. Raj, you were saying it, was it genius. 18? Was it eighteen or twenty one? I want one of those. <laughs> nowadays that won't fly because anything's possible now. But back then, yeah, was it you 18? remember that? Was it eighteen yeah. or twenty one? I don't know, but you. No, you, I remember that. Yeah. I think Raj even said you had that board, Raj, and I, you had to hide it. I had, yeah, I had that board. I hid it behind my bed. Hey, when Raj, when Raj. Raj has to get in here and, and tell you how it was. Yeah. Wait, wait yeah. what board is this? Are we speaking on the one? It that... is the one where it should have been in a nudie magazine. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Ro Roger, did you write it? 
Well, yeah, I was, I was scanning it. I had it set up. And I, oh. had, I had it like on the other side of my bed, which was like against my wall. But I had Nintendo in my room. My dad would always come in my room and play like Zelda. <laughs> my dad's like, and then, oh, I want to play Nintendo all of a sudden. Yeah. And, uh, Are you I, sure he was coming in there for that? <laughs> the TV was off. <laughs> I, I came home from school, whatever, and I went in my room. My, my dad's playing uh, Zelda. He's like, hey, don't let your mom see that board behind her. Yeah. Oh, wow. okay, okay. I, I would so love good. to know the numbers on that one. So Dude. good. The numbers were probably good. Right. Wow. But, but not only yeah. that, I mean, there were so many other, oh, not so only many. provocative, but like just yeah, crazy. He, 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 what, he, about he, that? what about the 101 Satan board? Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. There you the go. The Nottis. The Nottis. That was supposed to be. Nottis, first of all. Yes. And on top of it. It was supposed to be Jason Lee's Genius. board, and Jason Lee, Jason Lee, <laughs> it went back in his court. He's like, "Dude, whatever, we're rolling like, with it." He's like, "Sales are up," and, you know, and, and all of a sudden, cease and desist. And he's like, "All right, we already made enough. Next." <laughs> what is it? Jason Lee turned down like ten grand to have that board under his name. He's like, yeah. "No, I don't want to. I don't want it." No, I yeah. want to say Nottis is probably um, the top of the chart when it comes to like sales on boards. Is the Nottis board. There it is. There's had, a, so I that's the that Lee. Board, right? I had that thing. Dude. They wanted a Jason Lee, but they changed oh, it. Wow. But even before this one, the cat one that was on SMA. Oh, that's the OG graphic. Was like that was gnarly. Out of out of the out of the roof. That's out when of he the was, world. was killing the game. Yes. Which one was this? The cat His one. His OG, remember. like the, the black cat. Yeah. If it's like in the middle of the board. It's like in like. A oh, triangle. and it's kind of yeah. like he's got his claws yeah, out. Yeah, but yeah. he's had so many different renditions of it. It's not just that one, but that first one particular. Oh you almost God, forget bro. like. But those are like when when we when you want to talk like um, when board sales and people selling boards, those those it was because there were so few many yep, board companies totally. that that sounded stupid. There were few many. <laughs> <laughs> there were so we understood <laughs> few board companies. There but, you go. So that that's kind of like why those dudes were like even Lucero that that the. the yeah, that one Legend. was was just selling like hotcakes, and then not only that, but if John puts his board out mm -hmm. re-release on mm -hmm. an old school shape, it's gonna because. outsell any of the kids that are jumping down, down. hundred stair handrails because for some reason it's just so iconic and it's it's legendary. It has such an effect, definitely. I'm just wondering because like you know, Rocco and World did change the game kind of for the burn and turn graphics. Like none of them were lasting that long back mm -hmm. then too. But I don't even know. I, I it's I think it's the wood shops that really changed how this for sure how this game operates. Uh, I mean, you know, Vans, for example, used to have American made shoes, right. and then they did the environmental laws with the you can't burn rubber, so they had to go to China's like I'll burn whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Korea's like burn the shit. Mm -hmm. So like that had a lot to do with it too. But that has the same problem that wood shops have is that, that you can't just like produce and all, all the it's like environmental rules really mm. that's what but I, they're producing a shitload of boards like i said also, we could it's also cost efficient like yes to do it elsewhere it, but like, the drunk dude at the bar we can go make 50 of his pro models right now well yeah well don't wait <laughs> don't call me though. on whether board board shops cannot do it environmentally I know it's a rubber thing when it comes to making shoes. Okay. Oh, shoes for sure. But well, but, there is a glue involved in all this stuff. It, I too. don't know, but if it was that easy, everyone would be doing it in the. America. I think Schmidt was the last of the survive Mohicans trying to do it, you know, mm. and, and then he ended up in Tijuana doing it there, which kind of worked. Oh, that's interesting. That's yeah. where his wood company. Yeah, set so up. we don't know. I, yeah, I don't know the. We don't know. I don't the know logistics, the logistics but there's got to be something to it because. There uh, are shoes being made here. New Balance has a, a definitely a, a factory here where they make American-made shoes. Right. I don't yeah. know the, how the the breakdown is of, yeah. of where what percentages is made yeah, here and whatnot, yeah, yeah. but apparently that's why they're able to like, put the logos the made here yeah <laughs> like yo the yeah, NBA's I don't know that made here <laughs> they, they take the shoe and then they put the logo on yeah, the shoe yeah, yeah, it's yeah. made here the I don't NBA. know the parameters here well whatever yeah. it is I mean <laughs> the, the stitching I think like we were saying before like <laughs> but you know what I'm saying like yeah. but I mean this is how crazy the world is so I want to say like Back then, when 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 everyone was being able to manufacture everything here, and there was way less companies, mm -hmm. and and when it comes to Rocco, to be honest, that was a rough time in skating, and like, it was very short lived. It, like if we really think about this, it wasn't like this gone on for years on years. Like bro, this was like three years, like strong three years. Yeah. Like, what was four. rough? What was rough about it? What was rough about it was the skate parks died. Um skateboarding Vert was, was really small yeah 
it, it, there wasn't a huge customer base. And I want to say it was like just for some reason. I remember, you know, going to Japan one time with Tony Hawk and he's like just coming out of retirement because basically <laughs> skateboarding <laughs> sucked. Yeah. And then he started Birdhouse and stuff. But like it was like one of those times where like that's when even like we, we got sponsored. Where I'd, I think I told the story last time where we got sponsored by this shop called Manami sports in japan they're like we're gonna three put three hundred dollars wired into your account me and tony and wade and christian were like three hundred dollars wired into our account all right we'll agree we walked out just like, <laughs> yeah you know like Killing it. it was just that was a time in skating right you now I, I don't know why i don't know why i mean if i could go back and figure that one out i'd would but, but do, you yeah. think rough, <laughs> do you think it was rough but for rocco i meant it was rough because of the simple fact that it, 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 like skateboarding sales went from Powell and Vision sales to not that many sales, and Rocco took the blunt of that and somehow created sales. Yeah, but and, I, I was going to say, and, which is hard to do. I yeah. think he stole a lot of sales from a lot of other companies. Yeah. Vision, Blind, 1, like yeah, yeah. He he was taking the the lion's share of it. I I believe. I mean, I don't yeah. want to put too much time on Rocco, but, <laughs> but yeah, I, I respect that he actually he helped a lot of people out through that time. Probably helped himself out a lot as well. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. It's it, it, And then after that, I want to say now, in this day and age, it's complete 180 as far as, like, like where there's actual cash cow behind skateboarding, you right. know? And right. now you look at the Olympics, and people always ask me, so what do you think about Olympics? Like, eh, it's, it's, it does, I don't even know what you're talking about. Because like, it's, did this Olympics even uh, help or hurt skateboarding? Yeah. We you don't know. But it's, it's, no it, it's, it's put on a platform now where... <laughs> People that never even understood skateboarding. And if you ask someone in 1994 to 90, well, 92 to 97 mm-hmm. about skateboarding, you'd have to be a skateboarder to understand it. For sure. Mm-hmm. Totally. Nowadays, it's on fucking commercials. It's on TV shows. I mean, I still don't think you learned that much about it. Yeah. But the only cool person that made it cool was Michael J. Fox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. I, I bought a skateboard because Dude, of that. Because that was of Back sick. to the Future. Uh, Another like, boy with next level. Right. For sure. And that's coming soon. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> We're still waiting that's for that. That's the next Olympics yeah. right, hoverboard challenge, dude. <laughs> I think it just became, people are more aware of it now. For There's sure. Our understanding. And, I, I, yeah. I don't know if I made my point right, but you guys know what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> No, but like nowadays, like for an outsider to be like, they'll be like, "Do you know Tony Hawk?" <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Or, or, now, or, or now Niger, or you but, know what I mean, or yeah. certain individuals. Where but you're that's like, why oh. I met the Tony Hawk references because in, in at that time, even Tony was like, "Dude, what's going? Like, where am I going with this? I'm the best skateboarder in the world when it comes to transition skateboarding, right. and I'm like, like." It, what's going on here and yeah. there weren't events there weren't, and then the x games kind of came in and, and and brought in that whole mainstream part of it a lot changed you know but as a just regular skateboarder mm-hmm. we didn't give a shit about none of that shit like we just skated ever slick bring it on <laughs> i'm gonna no slide the shit out of this fucking thing dude we just, bah, 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 bah. Well, it goes right into slappy some, no slide by the slappy way to, let's go man yeah. slappy and then crook slappy yeah, crook yeah. you know what i mean um, it's a, I, I want to bring this up too, because this goes right along with the Tony Hawk and the contest and stuff that you, cause you had, you had spoken on the 1990 contest in San Jose, the mini ramp contest yeah. that you beat Tony Hawk, but they put on the cover who beat Tony Hawk. Yeah. But in the documentary you had mentioned, like you didn't like that. What part didn't you like that? They didn't put your name on there or that you, no, I didn't like the fact that they, um, I, I don't like the fact that they uh, made that who I am or or that defines me who I am as okay. a skateboarder because I beat Tony Hawk. Because For them, it was like a big deal, though. Yeah, Here's, but, but it's like, on a different... I, I knew in my heart that like I didn't beat Tony Hawk. Maybe you beat him in a contest, but that's not actually beating Tony Hawk. <laughs> You won the battle, but not the war. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's a big difference there, boys. Like, but like, yeah. So it's like whatever. I, I'm really, I'm, I was really happy at the fact that I, I had done well at the out event. But for them to put it on the cover and make it a mark out of me like that, this is what they. Did. Yeah. This is the skateboarding cover right here. Yeah. Skateboarder, uh, excuse me. Who beat Hawk? Yeah. Who beat, Who beat okay, Hawk? Okay, I got a better one than this. Did I tell you that one? I don't know if they put it in there, but my buddy in this contest. Ricky, Same contest? Ricky Barnes. And if you swipe through there, I'm doing the air. 
I, I don't, this isn't appropriate for the nine club maybe, but he put like suck cock or something like in my helmet because I used to have like spray paint my helmet, <laughs> and he put it put it in there, and and it, and all of a sudden when the mag came out, it was like. It was in my helmet. Dude. Wow. I was like, they didn't what? catch it. They didn't catch it. Wow. I was like, yo, dude. And it's fully visible. Hawk. And then all of a sudden, I got a suck Hawks thing in my helmet. But. I think it's totally acceptable for the night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was just like overwhelmed by the whole thing, you know. But no, I was just more thinking to myself, like, you know, uh, that's when we we rode for Tracker at that time. I think it was 1991. And me and Tony were on the same team. Mm. And I, I used to skate Tony's ramp. And he used to come skate the blockhead ramp. Mm -hmm. But he hadn't gotten beat in a contest for a long time. And so they tried to create some sort of like marketing strategy against him, I felt like. Oh, you think so? I yeah. mean, in a sense, by just... Transworld did or... Whoever the was, I don't know what I'm talking about now. But <laughs> no, I kind of understand what you're saying. Yeah. They wanted to make sure that like, or let people know that he, Tony, could, line. yeah, because yeah. he kept winning. Yeah, that someone could beat him. There's yeah. always but, been a storyline with Tony. Yeah. But it's insane though, because they, I would just be like, why don't you put your name? Just why don't you just put me as like, yeah, Omar Hassan wins. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't they put? Uh, why didn't they put? Um, Omar who, beats. Yeah. Hawk? <laughs> Hassan beats <laughs> What did they put? Omar won this shit, motherfuckers. So you were kind of. I don't know. I'm. 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 I'm on. Like you were. You were mad that they didn't. That they made this thing about it. I but just then... thought. I just thought it was because we were friends and it was inappropriate for them to. Because then they try to create. That's when you're creating like a, a like. Oh, these guys must not like each other or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, they like, did the whole yeah. thing. Oh, these guys. These guys must. Uh, oh, look at Tony Hawk got beat. And let's like kind of make a mark out of somebody like this is yeah. It's but not. were they trying to do like another Christian Asoy versus Tony Hawk type Maybe thing? Maybe in a sense, in a sense. And then we rode for a lot of the same entities. Yeah, true. So I felt like, I mean, tr at the time, Transworld was Tracker. Tracker was Transworld. We're all on the same team, so it was just kind of like, and we skated together. So mm -hmm. I just felt that it was like an inappropriate to do. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. How old were you at this point in time? Twenty. I uh, was seven. Yeah, I was seven. seven? <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave ages and dates out of this. Whole yeah, I think just, I was seven. Just confusing. And not only that, but I'm I'm a huge advocate of what Tony's done and who totally. he is, and like, like I mean, dude, when I was a kid growing up, I watched all the Powell videos. I watched the the Combi video when that Combi video came out, and he won the Upland contest. I was probably one of the only people that when it got revamped and the combi contest came, I sat there and watched the combi contest from the original one and I studied it and I already studied it as a kid. I studied it again just to watch it because I knew that no one else in my division uh -huh. was thinking that way. <laughs> really? <laughs> Cuz I was like, dude, these guys have no idea how iconic that this place is, you sure. know? And the only person that really took it serious I think was Rune Glifberg. So me and him and I didn't show him the video, by the way, but <laughs> <laughs> but I studied it, and I was always, you know, I've always been a fan of Tony, and always been a fan of uh, the that event, you know. This and, is the Upland, yeah, uh, and that's where I was Upland's like, um, you know, this contest to me as a kid watching it, I was like, dude, skateboarding is insane. Look at this, this is insane. Oh. And then that's one of the parks I grew up in. I have like, like my, you know. Um, the only park that was left that I got to mm. skate at that era and that generation. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, as you were growing up and everything, like t contests were a big thing. I mean, they For still sure. have continued no, to be a big thing, but they were they were the thing. It back was approving. It was a. It was whether you were going to turn pro or not. That, that's it. The am. Hey, yeah. you made it to the amateur finals. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you okay? You did good. The amateur finals. Now you can turn pro. Right. You got a good and, uh, chance, But that's, kid. that's when it started to get to where guys like Rocco mm -hmm. were like, nah, we're not going to do that. We're going to do it our own change, thing. It did change. And John sure. Lucero also, that's one thing I can respect about John, is he was another one, like a John Cardiel, for example. John Cardiel wasn't a contest skater, mm -hmm. but he saw something in him. And he ended up investing in the madness that John Cardiel brought to the table. Right. Which is probably the biggest investment in skateboarding. I, I would agree. And I want to yeah. say he was like, this guy might not get results in the contest part of it, mm -hmm. but just put a camera on him, just watch him live, and 
watch the wheels turn. And next thing you know, John Cardiel is like one of those dudes who really was groundbreaking in a way that, that like Mark Gonzalez was as well the pioneer of that, but John also was a pioneer of that where you don't have to have stats. Sure. You can just be gnarly and be rad and have a, such a unique savant mentality that people are going to appreciate it. Same with Julian Stranger. I feel that same yeah. way about him. Julian, mm. I mean, you can go down the list, yeah. but back then, my point also is there were a lot of companies that weren't willing to invest in that yet. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. You know, and it I, was coming to a, a, a new stage in skateboarding for where sure. you have to, you'd almost recognize like Frankie other Hill. Yeah, Frankie yeah. Hill is a prime um. example of that part. That's when video parts started to really stand out a little bit more, too. Right. For me. Was that the part where you all eat the gap? Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 yeah. gap is still gnarly. massive. Gnarly. Massive. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's kind of where it made a turning point, I feel like sure. a little bit, and I think Cardiel was a, a a great ambassador for that. Could you imagine if the Olympics were back then? Could you hey. imagine if the Olympics were back then when Tony <laughs> Christian were battling? Like, could you imagine? Oh, that would be what huge. if the Olympics were like all right, you just got to find the gnarliest dude out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it has nothing to do with results. <laughs> who's, willing, who's willing to just break yourself up? Oh, just a no huge dude. demo. And no no results. results. <laughs> it's called Instagram. <laughs> wow. Damn. But I just think it's funny because like, Everybody now, like, oh, what do you think of the Olympics? Some people are pissed. Some people are accepting of it. But back then, every one of those dudes would do it. 100%. Uh, that dude, was their shit. It, for it, sure. I mean, yeah. that's the thing, though, is there, there wasn't another outlet like there is now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You, you, you had to, like, either be results or maybe a few people would slide by, you know, Maybe ride for a shitty company. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I feel like I'm slumping a lot. I'm trying to get back. Yeah, we get, get your get posture. posture no, yeah, 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 yeah. Posture is good. Posture. We got to breathe. So this leads me to uh, the Marseille Bowl contests that you would go in there and you would you won four years in a row, and then the last two years of it, two uh, second place. Yeah. You must have been going to this first of all iconic contest, yeah. right? But you just you were going there on fire every year. Well, you, you did know you was, know you were going to win? Uh, no, I just knew that it meant a lot because back then the 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 competitors were not competitors. We were. What just, do you mean by that? It was just a like, friendly, friendly duel. I mean, if you look at the, <laughs> it, it, friendly I mean, duel, yeah, it, it, it was a joust, dude. Sure. It, was, it was gladiator shit. I'm telling you, no Release medals. the lions. <laughs> no medals. You know. Yeah. So it, there was money though. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I was like, fuck. I how get, much are you getting? I got to pay my rent for two months. Sick. How much? Yeah. How much they, yeah. they given for that contest? Uh, I think place. it was like fifteen thousand, which is good. I mean, it's still good to this day. Definitely. For sure. You know? Um, you know what? Uh, this is a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier, right? Mm. I got to meet the coolest people at this event. Every Europe skater from any country from Europe showed up to this thing, and, and they were on fire, mm-hmm. dude. And we didn't care about winning or losing. It was more like skate your face off, part of your face off, and have the time of your life. Right. And I feel like that's why i got so fired up it wasn't about winning or losing it was like such an awesome event with just rad energy and so that'll do it it just made you just go nuts you know mm. and when cardiel did that 360 over that thing dude that was pure like i mean dude it was like there, there this is pre x games yeah. park this is pre there was no um bowl competitions like this right. it wasn't even a scene so I feel like that's why it meant so much to me is the simple fact that like, who wants to party the hardest? <laughs> <laughs> Who's coming to play? Yeah. Yeah. Who's coming to play? And Trujillo wow. came to play, son. I mean, you were going up against. Hey. There you are. Trujillo. Right there. Look yeah. at Trujillo. Tra- Trujillo oh, was coming fell. to play, dude. That was young Trujillo, huh? Well, how old are you? Like four? How old are you right there? Well, I was probably. You were ten. You were at least ten by then. Four six months. <laughs> but you were. I mean, I mean, if you look at the names, right? That's what I'm saying. There was like even random dudes that you wouldn't like. 
Dude, Javier Sarmiento Neil, was skating yeah, in that. Dude, that okay. was sick. That was Can you, rad. you know who else is, is awesome? Is um, Roberto Alamon. Mm. Oh, okay? Yeah. And, and like, I'm talking dudes that are, are just to this day for the rest of my life, one of, some of my best friends from, he actually was the one who took us on uh, spot guiding on that trip. Roberto's Barcelona? like- Barcelona? Yes, the Sick. man, dude, right? And so you create these relationships with these dudes and it's like, that's what made everyone stoked. It, was, it wasn't like, I feel like nowadays, skateboarders don't have the they're they're there to compete mm. they probably don't even talk to each other as much they don't have I, relationships with I feel each like other i feel they, like it's they, a they different do. breed it's a, i mean they and i'm do, not though. i'm not talking trash on them because i there are that do yeah but what i'm saying is th there was no metal to win at right. this thing it was a it was strictly just like get gnarly you know and and have fun and like someone's gonna pay for us to come out here you know, and now they it's that was one contest a year, but it's now just they like, go to like ten a year. Yeah, it's like no, get buck sure. and who and yeah. the, let the best man win. And and it's also, um, you know, it, take it how you want to take it. You could sit there. Mm. That's why we we did this. Uh, we did it so it was fifteen minute jams, which is way too long, especially in Marseille because it's super hot there and you're dying, dude. I mean, you're pumping that bowl. So, for, but the, mm, yeah, yeah, the reason why we did it that way is so guys like Cardiel. Guys like Julian, uh, even uh, enter or don't enter, we're going to put your name in a heap. If you want to skate, skate, but we're not going to call your name out, and you can just do it at leisure. And that. then Neil Headings is out there drinking beers, taking runs. You got Alan Peterson flying head high. The best. And then, and then you had, like, just it was more of a, a, a relaxed vibe, but get gnarly as you want to get in those 15 minutes. Sure. And it's on you whether you want to care or not the next thing you know cardiel's doing a 360 over the thing with a broken board and the crowd was freaking out and it was just like the recipe for the best disaster <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, and you came out on top in that best disaster for four years yeah but row. you know what in that contest that year that he did that because the criteria was supposed to be like they have Ooh. they have they have like criteria it's like he did this he did that he did that yeah and yeah, yeah. i it, won the contest but then when they gave me the microphone i'm like dude the person who won the contest today was john cardio mm -hmm. yeah because Look whether he, he i don't know he got like maybe fifth or fourth or something but that's skateboarding isn't about staying on your board and ripping it's about leaving a mark leaving making a mark on that zone in that spot that you're at mm. and cardio made the biggest mark even to this day he's probably made the biggest mark on marseille and that's even Look through that. with all the new kids true yeah. to this day <clears throat> Which is like, it's funny though. You look at certain sports; they have to check off certain. Oh, five four, that, yes, that. Yes, that's yeah, what I mean. Yeah, right? you're like it's so skateboarding is just not like so, that. So I like the I like anymore. I mean, I feel like, but I like where you're coming from though. Like leave mm -hmm. leave your mark. Yeah, no, that's a great perspective yeah, for sure. I like that. It, it, it has not. You could you could like I think Muska was really good at that kind of stuff. Muska was the sickest in a sense. I remember one time we went to uh, Canada. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was like this demo at one of the parks there. But it was during Slam City Jam or something. And like everyone's ripping, doing all this gnarly shit. And Musk goes like, fuck, well, bro. You know, because he used to live in Costa Mesa. So I used to hang out with him and stuff. And he's an awesome dude, man. Mm -hmm. his, 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 his mentality is pure. Mm -hmm. And he's like, fuck, this is kind of crazy. Like, I don't know, you know, you guys want anything to eat? I'm going to go get some eat. I'm like, well, like oh, whatever, dude. <laughs> and he goes and he gets like a bunch of food and he comes back and he starts fucking grilling <laughs> and he's telling all the kids you guys want burgers you want hot dogs and all the kids are like coming in and he created like <clears throat> way more attention <laughs> purely dude i got a musk burger <laughs> i got a musk dog dog and he's in canada everyone's like fuck musk rules Fantastic. and he he yep. left a mark on that situation just he, by grilling just yeah. by grilling he didn't even have to skate <laughs> it's like let all these all the dudes are over here breaking themselves trying to get attention he just purely was like i just want to eat some food and stoke some people out how amazing yeah, that's tight that goes and a anyone way, that bro. was there will remember that yeah they got a muska burger totally <laughs> muska dog <laughs> I mean, that's pure personality, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. In the yeah. sense of, like, now you get to interact For with him on a real level. You're making me I, a burger? Yeah. yeah. Like, and yeah, it's like, up. and he's looking at you, yeah. handing it to you. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, holy shit, Muska just gave me a hot dog. Can I get some yeah. ketchup, Muska? That goes a long yeah. way, bro. That goes a long way. I'll never way. forget that. That was one of the coolest things that I saw 
like in a long time because I, I felt like that was like it wasn't contrived. He wasn't like I'm gonna go do this. Yeah, yeah. It just it just happened. He's like he he was asking people want food. Uh, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of food for everybody, and then next thing you know, the kids start. Like, I, were they good? Were the, were the hot dogs good? I mean, I didn't eat one. <laughs> I just watched. It was a frenzy. Omar's once standing in line. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a it was yeah. it was a frenzy. The kids all wanted a musket. I mean, trying to get one, dude. So Omar's, in line. Omar's in line. Just wait. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I want I I some left. After. I mean, I was like eight, so trying to get <laughs> trampled by trying to get trampled by a thirteen year old. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I love that it made like, it made such a big impact on the kids, but not just the kids, but you yeah. for sure, dude. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I always knew Musco was cool, right? I, I always knew that, but when he did it that day, and he mm. the way he did it, and the way it, it all unfolded, I was like, dude, like everyone that paid to have this demo, everyone that was trying to rip too hard, like Musco just stole the show in kindness. That's amazing. Yeah. It's it, amazing. It was insane. Yeah. And anyone that was there, and people that were there, remember this because it was like. The fuck's going on? <laughs> like, I don't know if I ever. You ain't skating. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. I don't know if I've ever heard this story yeah. before. Yeah, I know ask that. Muska about it. He'll be like, "Yo, dog, I just happened to just like say fuck it and get some food." Next thing you know, kids, <laughs> well, dude, kids yeah, start yeah. coming at me. But I was like, "Yeah, say, it was sick." <laughs> Dude, have you seen what he's doing now? He's feeding the little, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, what is the it? The gophers the per- or whatever? The gopher. You seen oh that? Oh my gosh. Dude. Yeah. See, now he's doing that Musk for animals. A, no, he, he's a, he's a, he's a true hearted. He's true hearted. Oh, yeah, he is. Hey, you know who also I'm a huge fan of? <laughs> is Wes Kramer, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel yeah, like yeah, Musk dude. and Wes are cut from like the same cloth. True. Yeah. Mm, like true. they have the same energy where it's like they're not trying to be something that they're not. They're just cool motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah. They're just doing them. Yeah. Definitely. This is these are fucking amazing. Yeah, his little his little gopher <laughs> friends. The but gopher's he's his on, friend for life now. He's on the everybody eats. Hey, he's eating too. He is. <laughs> everybody <laughs> eats around now Musk. He's doing for gophers. <laughs> hey, <we're, laughs> Musk. Was that <laughs> that Marseille? Like, these kids ate all my hot dogs. Now I'm doing for gophers. Fuck it. <laughs> the, the Marseille trip? Or when you go out, was that a part of the, the summer tour? The Europe summer tour, or is yeah, that... it was two contests. Oh, okay. But like, I remember watching as a kid, you know, like four and one Euro tour, like whatever. How were those contests? Because that looked like it was the biggest, a amazing skate contest, but also a huge shit show. Dude, it was. It, that, that's the thing. That's Jake was still around, and yeah. Jake was just, uh, you know, being Jake. Just, yeah. And it was, dude. It, that's the thing, is, it it kind of started out as like. Let's see how this thing goes from the first Marseille. You know mm. what they did, right? They sponsored it by a beer company. Oh, <laughs> so everyone was, was like, fucking like, I think it was Foster's was the first one. And they, they like bought everyone's plane tickets and hotel. Damn. Like 20 people or 25 people, 20, 25, whatever. And that's kind of how they created the buzz is by doing that. And then everyone woke up with a case of beer on their, um, on their doormat, doorstep, on oh, their wow. doormat. <laughs> and then it was just it, it was, was on, on from there because everyone's like wow. dude this is sick and then the format like i said 15 minutes there were dudes that were in the contest just like took two runs yeah. didn't give a shit but they got flown out to skate and hang out and then and then after that it's like all right that vibe's mm-hmm. already on now just pay for yourself yeah yeah you're <laughs> and, there and, and everyone's yeah. fucking paying for themselves coming back yeah, we're, we're talking is this around 2000 99 that, 99 2000 one, yeah. okay yeah that was Foster's only time of being part of any type yeah. of skate. I haven't heard anything and then it went, Foster yeah. since. And then it went Heineken. <laughs> Foster's went back to Australia. No one drinks it there. <laughs> <laughs> How is that? Is oh, they amazing. Australian for beer that no one it's, even It's yeah, not even yeah, yeah. It's it's a He's like, fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> Hey, how do, where did the ride on grinds come from? Where did you, I mean, do you, you, you got those down pat now. What are, what are the... Dude, it's called not being able to ollie that high. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you charge, you charge, you charge into yeah. the bowl. You charge into the oh, pool. Oh, I thought you meant on the ground. No, no, no. I thought you meant on the street, no, no. son. We're talking ride on slides, ride on grinds. Because I got a mean ride on grind if you're on the street. No, I don't know, man. I just kind of like... Uh, I think when we were skating chickens back in the day, I used to just mess around and play around. We skated there so much, I just started getting bored. Okay. <laughs> tail slide, tail slide, board slide. Let's try from the deck. And then just... It worked out. Yeah, I just started. <laughs> and you know what's crazy about that too now is I it didn't catch on for like a long time. And I feel like kids are like starting mm. to do it more. I and see. it's going to get gnarly. Like 
in the future, you're going to see people doing like kick flip, nose blunt slides into the bowl. Like you're going to see like, cause they, they just, the, the door's open now. And I feel like that's like going to be some shit that's going to happen. Totally. This is chickens, right? Yeah, that's chickens. But I just feel like you kind of got known for that. Like, if, yeah, you, if Omar is going to be around, you you're going to see him charge into the bowl. This is what it is. You do something too much, <laughs> you get coined. But <laughs> I think it's good, though. I mean, we had Andrew Reynolds on, you know, frontside flips, Neen Williams with the heel. It's kind of good to have that I would superpower. never relate those dudes with those tricks. <laughs> come on. Come on. No, hey, Neen's a perfect example, man. He's got way more than a heel flip. 100%. No but, but if you think of him, you're like, he'll flip. Andrew Reynolds, way more than a frontside flip. Yeah. Omar Hassan, yeah. way more than uh, yeah. a yeah. I mean, right on grind. So, but. but you know what? If you, you this sounds lame, but y- you do what you feel is fun and yeah. you give the people what they want. Totally. Yeah. And that's like, I don't do it for the people, but I'm saying that's what they want. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know it's fun, yeah. it's fun to watch. Did that make sense? Yeah, never mind. I'm fine. No, it's fun to Cut watch. Here. I, I like watching oh, that yeah. shit. I'm that just was... saying, like, if Andrew Reynolds shows up, you want to see a frontside flip. So he's going to give the people what they want. True. Yeah. And true, it's true. not like, it, it's just, he, it's easy for him. Yes. Because yes. he's mastered it. And but he's so... the one who, who kind of brought it that to our team. He's like, good, like, Get the superpower. Like, that's my superpower. Like, yeah. that's Neen's superpower. Like, yeah. that's... People come to see that. And I think that's Grosso that's with rad. an invert. There you go. No one cares. 100%. No one cares about much. They just want to see him do a board slide and invert. Mm-hmm. That was that same pool that uh, I always saw Penny skate. Yeah. That, that's the pool, because you got to realize, when this goes back to when we were talking, there weren't parks. So that guy right there, and this goes back to all of our stories right here. That guy that started that right there, it's chicken... And he did mm-hmm. all the silk screening for World Industries. Mm. He was the one who, it was called Screaming Squeegees. And when, yep. when World started, he came from Vision and Schmidt Sticks. And these dudes were older, so they're like, dude, we don't skate street. We're going to build a bowl. And they were printing money. And Chicken is, seriously, in my life, I wouldn't have had transition skating because parks were gone. It was dead. He created a huge scene for us in Huntington Beach with that pool. Mm. And not only that, but he's probably screened every board we were talking about. Every The 101s, mm-hmm. screened it. Any any world industry board, screened it. And he's still still to this day screening boards and stuff. But like he that scene and that back back in the day is what I'm talking That's the exact time of when, I mean, not that video because that's more recent. But sure. during those days, Screaming Squeegees, um, you know all the bam boards and stuff too even oh, yeah. man Ooh. i went in there one time i was like holy shit <laughs> the whole place was riddled with bam the star thing that he had mm-hmm. or whatever yeah, i was like hard to gram yeah. dude i was like what the yeah. hell he's like yeah bam selling boards i'm like i guess so 20 stole a couple thousand 20, a month <laughs> Stole like four. Yeah. No, 20,000 20, a month, I think he was selling hey, back then. That's uh, screaming squeegees, chicken. Damn. Hey, man. Wow. Hey, but before that, he was the one that did the Randy Colvin graphics. He did them all, dude. And he created that ball for us to skate. And it created a lot of great times. And Tom and Muska, both those dudes, were living in Costa Mesa at the time. And all that legendary footage from Tom and stuff that came out of that ball. Like he just created a, a scene for for us to have skateboarding, you know, which oh, was sick. which was really sick, and like all those graphics we're talking about came out of that dude's. I love that that dude's warehouse. Mm-hmm. It's so funny how everything's so intertwined, you know. Mm-hmm. Like it's funny that squeegee. you said that because I would have uh, never. Like oh really? I mean, dude, I remember watching Penny, and I was that like, front side flip. Yeah, like, dude. Hey, that that pool has so much history and so many rad sessions. We used to murk that thing. Like mm. everybody skated that thing because it was the only transition thing. Is that there thing's were... still there? Yeah. That's so incredible. Sick. It's like grip tape. That <laughs> 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 thing is weathered. Uh, it's thrashed. Because it's like literally, like it looks like a really perfect transition. Hey, it's, it's like dude, not too yeah. steep looking. That was sick. We had some really great times there, man. Like it was built for skating. It was built. He was one of the first people. That I know, that was like, I'm going to build this for skating, but plumbed as well, so you could mm, swim you could in it. Put some water in there. So, But no one had cash back then, dude. So he was he was in cahoots with Rocco when it came to like, all right, I'm going to screen your shit. And then just and boom, it, it all started for yeah. him. And then he he's a master at, he still screens stuff to this day for all kinds of people. And then he just, you know, like I said, he came from a different generation where he wasn't going to 
make a plaza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should. That'd be <laughs> tight. <laughs> Plazas are dying, dying too. You know, he's out there. Yeah. Like, you probably make a damn good plaza. Yeah. yeah. You, have a, you have a pool in your backyard, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's where I got the, the, the blueprint from is from Chicken. And there's another guy named Kelly as well that, that they were in it together. And it's right. the same space. Kelly, Kelly had uh, the, the one with the channel, the black and white channel one. It, his was gnar. His was gnar. Chickens was a lot more friendlier. You're not going to see Tom Penny at Kelly's house. <laughs> house I'll tell you that. Wait, wait, so what is yours? Is yours right in the middle of that? Yeah, okay. yeah mine's in the middle. Mm. Is it pretty gnarly? It, it, it's, it's, it's gnarly, but it's not gnarly at the same time. You know, I tried to make the shallow friendly for my friends. You know, like It's like a mini ramp shallow, but the deep could get gnarly. So. Oh, hmm. okay. and Lance helped me design it and built it. And uh, But... Do you fill it with water? You know what's weird is you think you'd, you I built I'm a skate every day like it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Did well, you think that going into like, it? I don't like being at my house all the time. <laughs> yeah. Did you think that going into it like I'm gonna skate here all I'm gonna I'm building this pool. I, I put enough work in there to where I felt like I'm I, I, I'm glad I did it. Yeah. And and to be honest, luckily at the time when I found my lot and my neighbors, there's a lot that goes into it. Sure. Because your neighbors. Don't like you. <laughs> Man, making all that noise. That's Jimmy Wilkins. Yeah, yeah. It's a good looking pool. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and it's it's also plumbed for swimming. I mean, do you fill it up yeah. for swimming? You got to be Michael Phelps to actually want. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a yeah. lot of water. It's, it's, a, big pool. Hey, it's a big pool. It's you never summertime, know, dude. Man. I might start doing like some swimming in it soon, but it's a lot cheaper to have it uh, empty, though. I'll tell you that. I was yeah. gonna say, man, you. How long did that take that you? Turn the hose on, man. Yeah, it took I mean, a, a week to it, fill it, up. It's it's actually more. It's kind of like HOA. Um, you know, it's it's like an industrial pool, like you'd have at like an apartment building or something. Is that's that much water in it? So uh, just to keep it like all the levels right and stuff, it's kind of it's a lot. I'd rather just have it empty. That must have been a, like a process to get that approved by everything, right? The oh HOA man, stuff? I've been in and out of the city so many oh. times. Really, they hate me. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> So to get this, yeah. you had to go through That's city planners. Yeah, and no, it's a, it's a. I had approvals. California Skate Park build it though. Yeah. So they kind of did a lot of the the grunt work mm. as far as city stuff, but then there was a lot of stuff that wasn't approved and this and that, and I caught myself in there a couple times. Just, you know, it's almost like going to a court, and uh, you're like, dude, are they gonna put me in jail? Or am I free for the day? Like, I it just sucked. Like. Well, so. this if you, like look, listen, if you built this pool, you weren't even gonna put water in it. Would you still have to get it like specked out for no, like? It, it, I tr- try to play it off as a swimmer. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. so but then the guy that came, the city guy, was like, "Wait a minute!" Like, and he started realizing that I skated, <laughs> and, and then all of a sudden he's like, "Wait a minute! There's not this. There's not that." And then he's like, "Try to try to be like, oh, I'm I'm giving you like a a, a pass." The swimmer, or like he's doing you a favor. Yeah. Oh, like there's no, there's no, there's uh, no stairs that go down, right? No, there's no stairs, and it's. Uh, I see you had a little rope ladder on there. Yeah, that, you know critter, that, critter that, ladder. That's a critter ladder. That stuff happens. Little animals get, get stuck, stuck down, dude. Right? One Can time, they climb up that little ladder? Dude, though? one time I had it like three quarters of the way full, and this um, raccoon was in there, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Like it was like three in the morning, and I'm like. I hear it and I'm like, what the hell's going on? I look out there, just scratching at the surface, like drowning. Yeah. So I'm like, oh shit, I gotta get the critter out because I was I was draining it. You dive in, took off all your no. clothes, dive, <laughs> so I, 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 in. I, I, super I, like, I went super and opened hard. it and I realized that the, the critter was like couldn't get out. So I took a broom and I went to grab it. And as, as soon as I went to pull it out, the thing just like lunged at me. Like, <laughs> oh. like, dude, it looked like a crazy, like it was crazy. Okay. I thought it, like and I let it go. Because I was like, I'm not going to let it. So then I got the uh, ladder and I tied it to a hose. And then I went way back behind the fence and I just fished <laughs> the thing out. <laughs> the thing got up and it was like looking around and then just scratched it. But if I would have been close to it, it probably would have. They claw the fuck out of you yeah. or the hell out of you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's a cornered or whatever. Yeah. It's drowning. So yeah. it's going to want to attach itself to you. The, the claws would have been yeah, gnarly. Yeah. I mean, you could bite me, but. I don't want to get clout. <laughs> oh yeah, the biting's okay. Yeah, yeah. It didn't feel like you were like helping him. Like, no, I felt like he was just fighting for his life. So he right. obviously was in defense mode, you know. Right. But I, so that's why the critter ladder is in there. I'm, I, I, I'm, I don't want Pete on my back. <laughs> well, dude, it's crazy. I, I grew up with a pool in my backyard. I didn't skate it, but you would, you'd be surprised what you find in the pool, dude. 
Oh, like, dude. Snakes to freaking random I don't like scorpions and shit. Dude. Like, what the? F- I never saw a scorpion so by that. my house. Like, I was like, where the hell are these scorpions? Humans? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, Found a human in there? <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Slams. Slams. We got to talk about slams. I mean, we. The uh, most iconic slam that you've ever had was the scalping yeah, of everyone. the head. To, uh, what was it? It's 42 staples, 162 stitches Dude. inside. Ugh. It's crazy. That was at the showdown? Did I? Did we talk about this last we did. time? We yeah, did. So we did. I mean, you, you know. Do you see we, it? Yeah. Do you still? Can you Ooh. see it at all? Yeah. It's not well, that bad. It's healed up yeah. beautifully. Yeah. He did Ooh. a great job. Definitely. Wow. I mean, that's a lot of staples and stitches. I feel Wait, like, how far? Let me see more. Oh, yeah, it went way, way too much. Yeah. I feel like a million pesos right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 10 bucks. Dude, that's... No, but that was... Um, it's hey, very graphic, too. You know what's crazy too. about that? Super is graphic. Is I learned from this whole thing right here, uh, to be honest, um, that oh. you might as well just market that shit. <laughs> so I just, like... Um, when O'Mealy made that photo... Which is a... Epic photo, by yeah. the way. Do we we talked about this last we time? We did, we Dana did, but White we could touch thing. on it. This was the with three the Dana years. White thing. Did I tell you about that? Wait, wait, wait. Dana it, White. Uh, I don't remember. So he went to Transworld to do like a uh, um, UFC. Uh, I don't know if what he was doing like a. Um, what do you do when you call re- it? rebranding when he first rolled out? Like a no, no, like a uh, promotion. No, what do you type stuff, dude? I'm so. Tongue twisted. Why would Dana right? White go to a Cassidy to... shirt? Look at it. that's Lucero with a Cassidy shirt right there. The one Newport Cassidy. Yeah. Newport. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, that's Lucero with a Cassidy <laughs> shirt. Right there. Right, sorry, he's throwing me off right now. So he did a tutorial, or like what you would do as a tutorial, like a um, like a uh, business tutorial, like okay. sp- you know, seminar to, oh. about business or whatever. And he saw that video, uh, the the photo, and it was really big in the office. At Transworld, when you went up the wall, it was like in the hallway, mm-hmm. and he liked it, and he bought it off of Transworld. I don't know what the numbers were, but he hung it up probably at his house, or he was excited about it or something. And uh, so that was I was stoked on that because that that made my head worth it right there. That's <laughs> <laughs> like yo, yo, if the craziest mother wants to get out there and get you know he sees a lot of stuff, but I think he's just into carnage. But um, so I was just like, you know what? Uh, that photo, and then all of a sudden I'm like, I'm gonna turn it into some graphics, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then it, it ended up kind of becoming like, um, the the thing that I kind of base my graphics and my uh, it, it, I turn a bad thing into a good thing is what I'm trying to. I say. don't know if this is. I don't know if that's a photo, Raj. Is this a photo? That's that's yeah yeah that's the photo. That's right a there. photo. Okay okay. So I was yeah, different. I turned it into. A lot of different graphics, and it kind of became like my little icon as far as like um, just just to have memorabilia wise, because right. it was like okay, you turn a negative into a positive, and and it actually, to be honest, I'm as lame as it was, and it sucks that it happened. It's like kind of as a blessing in disguise, because now it was like my identity. <laughs> I've had so many people, weird people, come up like, "Let me see your head," you know, or kids being really? like, "Yeah, hmm. like like, well, dude, let me check that out." So. I mean, as lame as it was, it just, you got to turn a negative into a positive. Uh, totally, totally. And it is, a, I mean, it, it, I think in skateboarding, it's one of the most graphic things that has happened publicly at well, an event like yeah, that. Yeah, at, at an event. For yeah. sure. Because sure. usually you're jumping off some stuff and there's like two people there. Exactly. <laughs> you're, just, exactly. Yeah. you're just broke. Oh, hey, that's my. why I can't watch Hall of Meat. Oh, dude. Mm. Hall of Meat. Are no. you kidding me? Why are you doing that to us? There was um, and I it, love Thrasher magazine. No doubt. So I'm a huge fan, but the Hall of Meat can't really watch. Well, it's and weird. It's weird that it gets so many views, though, right? Dude, that's because you know why? It's people that don't ride skateboards. True. Yes, true. very true. true. Uh, yeah. That's the that's for a crowd of just demonic, <laughs> <laughs> demonic people. <laughs> just negative Nellies, oh. dude. <laughs> But I, yeah, I, I feel gnarly. like you just go for it. That's why you've had so many of these. You know what I mean, it is? You had the X Games Slam in 09 that was on TV. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. As I get younger, okay. <laughs> oh. my motor skills start to slip a little bit. So my transmission's out. <laughs> <laughs> slow I need down a tune a up. Bit. Yeah. I need a tune up. No, I mean, dude, to be honest, I just trip over my own feet sometimes. I feel like everyone though you get caught up in the moment and and it's weird because i always a lot of my 
craziest things that I've hurt myself doing mm-hmm. have been on stuff where I'm just not paying attention, like the, the roll up. Or not even not even the actual trick. Like I'll hit the crack before the trick and then right. fly into the bowl and hit my head. Like no, I mean just like that, right there. I mean this is X Games. Oh no! Oh, oh, the ribs, dude. the ribs. Dude, they should have made. I don't understand why they make the the coping out of steel. What do you? What are you talking about? <laughs> it should be padding. But what do you? Oh, <laughs> especially right there. But what were you? Where's doing? the foam pit? Did you just not make it over? Dude, I mean, you tried. I, hey, what was to going be honest, on? Right there? At that contest right there, it was hot. I got all kinds of. <laughs> like, look, you grinded why. down the thing. No, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> I, was trying to grind it to the I was going to grind to grind. Oh gosh. <laughs> So anything outcome from that? Like rib broken? Uh, I actually, my hip was like so fucked for a while. It was so black and blue. And then they were like, okay, we're going to take you out of the van. I'm like, no, you're not. And I just skated it selfishly. Hurt. Did it like, could you even do it? Like, I actually did all right, even being hurt. I think I got like fourth place or something. Wow. wow. Hey, dude. That's not bad. For- <laughs> dude, that was, hey, I'm a hipster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, Australia, dude. you broke your ankle in 09. Yeah, was that, that was one. That stupid, was crazy dude. one. That was lame. That was, I don't know who to blame what it was on. This? Was that a it demo? Wasn't me. Was that a demo? <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't my fault. What happened? Was that a demo okay, or a yeah, contest? So, so we were fired up, right? <laughs> in in fired which up. way? Okay, Milton Martinez won Skater of the Year. Yes. And he's one of the coolest motherfuckers. He's the and he's like, yo, dude, you're going on the trip. I'm like excited that he invited us. Rhino had a lot to do with like organizing everything. We had the sickest crew. Like you, you already know the people that were on that trip. Mm-hmm. I don't have to say anyone's names because they were the best. And I just got over excited. So when we went to do that demo, everyone wanted me to do the money grab, do the heel flip frontside air. It's called the money oh. grab. It's called, we call that from Marseille because Phelps coined it. By I used to do the heel flip frontside air. He's like, dude, you got to do the, get, get some money. Do the money grab. <laughs> do the heel from front side air. So then all of a sudden, I'm like the last man standing at the demo. Do the money grab. Do the heel from front side air. All right, all right, all right. Well, then the rain started. Ooh. <sighs> and then it's like, they're on the microphone like, you got the next one. Like, you, you can't Just stop until you do it. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> this one's it. It's raining. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like, this one's like, like this is the last chance, no. dude. Last man standing, dude. So I just threw it under, and I knew it was kind of sketchy, but I didn't think it was that sketchy. And then sure enough, I just sat on my leg weird, you know? Like, I yeah. hate watching this stuff. I can't watch it. Why, why, are, why are you doing this yeah, to me? Yeah, right I don't understand. Well, because you know. actually dropped the mic, and you broke the mic, which is well, crazy. Well, because that's called uh, the green whistle that they give you, which is a morphine whistle in Australia. We should all try one right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> If they had these here, dude, I would not be here right now. I'd be happy as shit at home on the green whistle. <laughs> the green, green whistle. Wait, wait. Go. I want to see what that looks like. That, no, that it's, just, it's just a little pipe that they give you. That and you and you what? You smoke it? No. <laughs> it's a vape, dog. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a vape. Oh, no. Shit. Okay. To be honest, what it is? It's a morphine whistle. I've only seen it in like. Australia, because if they sold that shit here, Venice would be fucked. Yeah, <laughs> hey, you go down to the skate park and we're skating with the fucking whistle. Like, <laughs> well, I don't think they sell it there. It's for the paramedics. No, uh, they don't sell it. Yeah, uh, they don't sell it anywhere. But they don't have it here that I've Are seen. Are you sure? I don't they know. Have Maybe something... they do. I need to look into this. Yeah. I never. I broke my ankle. I had yeah. I had morphine mm. in the hospital. I that kept me. Hey, it, this one though. Yeah. I went from like. Like, okay, I, I sat on my leg weird. I knew it was bad because I, I, I looked at my leg and I was like, mm-hmm. okay, that doesn't look good. <laughs> and then Rhino is like going to give me a hand, like with his hand out to pick me up. And he's like, dude, just do this. Let's get at it. Like, you got it. And, and then I'm all, Rhino, I broke my leg. And he's like, oh, shit. And his hand went away. <laughs> All oh. of a sudden, I'm like, what about the hand, motherfucker? You can't help me. Yeah. Don't yeah. Help me anymore. Yeah. Hey, and then it got real. And then I was like, oh, you know. Like, oh, uh, you see yourself. It happened to my other leg, too. This is my second tr- oh. one. I got both my ankles. I got six screws in a plate on both of my ankles. Jeez. 
but I feel like a million pesos. I know. This <laughs> so was so but this one sucked because I was all the way in Australia, and everyone had my back. You know, Grant and everyone was, like, mm-hmm. really concerned for me, and I had all the love in the world. But it was, like, at that point, you know, there's you're at the point of no return. Like, you're fucked, all right. Then the whistle came in. <laughs> <laughs> the whistle changed everything. The whistle was the game changer. I was like... <laughs> I went from like this <laughs> that fast <laughs> yeah boy so like, it was like that like wow. I, I was like yo dude like I feel good wow my it's legs like, the other way I'm gonna give a speech so I was like I <laughs> <laughs> give me the mic I'm gonna give a speech so, huh. so then all of a sudden I just wanna not leave on that note dude I don't wanna be that guy of course we're on the fucking Milton's trip dude like this is some shit you know how hard it took him to get there no doubt that fool had to kick flip and break his own leg at the car wash True. thing like you think I'm gonna I'm a little bitch doing a little chicken scratch front side air He'll put front side air on a, on a transition. Let him know. This dude jumped in off the car wash, broke his shit, came back the next year, nailed it, filmed the whole part, and got skate of the year. Boom. Yeah. Props to fucking Milton. Straight up. He's yeah. one of my favorite humans. And even he was sitting there like, oh, this sucks. He sucks. Like, Fuck, this sucks. But you know what? I'm fucking going to suck this thing up. And then Rhino took me to the hospital. He's like, what do you want us to do? Should we stay? I'm like, get the fuck out. We're good. I'm good. You guys are on Milton's trip. This isn't the Omar breaks his leg fucking trip. So I, I luckily mm-hmm. got some people that I, uh, my older brother helped me. He got me a good doctor that works on some like um, rugby players. And I just stayed there and they went on to the trip and killed it, and I just went on and killed it my own way. <laughs> <laughs> did, you you to, did you have to stay there longer? To... Dude, I was there for a month. And then wow, um, wow. What the... um, Shane Azar, I don't know if you know who he is. He's an Australian skateboarder, and he runs uh, Volcom Australia, but he's also uh, a, just a, a brilliant skateboarder. And uh, mm-hmm. he let me stay at his house for pretty much a month. Mm. and. That's when I was like messing with his kids and his family, and they were like, "All right, dude, go home now." <laughs> <laughs> Did Why? you get surgery? Yeah, I had a full uh, six screws and a plate. Oh, you got surgery over there? Yeah, because mm-hmm. I was like, you know, you could go home, and then you'd have to wait longer because if you get on a flight and your leg, yeah, blo- like, yeah. yeah. So I was like, "Yo, dude, I'm just gonna handle this stuff here." And okay, and uh, my girlfriend Denise, who's like done so much for me, dude, she's the best. She handled all the doctor stuff mm. and 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 life-saving situation dude now as far as having that surgery there and, and the cost is everything i had to ni- pay i had to have cash they didn't take i we didn't have travelers insurance right so i i just i had to go to my bank account pull out a lot of fucking money <laughs> was it no really no like- yeah no it, it took i had to pull out my own cash and then i just like luckily you know i had cash in the bank to pay for it yeah, yeah, yeah. um the but, marseille money yeah no no uh it was blockhead money because <laughs> 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 i was t- two at the time <laughs> already killing it two years old man. you break your ankle <laughs> two dude <laughs> wow wow hey gummy bear <laughs> so so uh, yeah I, I and then i i had to pay for it and then i i um ended up uh, just getting on a plane. But what was crazier than that, I mean, I don't know how long I could be here for, but it like COVID has just hit off. Just hit off. Oh, that's oh. In the beginning. It was right in the beginning of oh, COVID. Like, shit. so I, I'm barely watching the news, seeing all this shit. Mm. Azar is probably sitting there like, dude, get this dude out of my house. Right. And I'm sitting there just like, thank you, Azar. Can you grab me a beer? And then, <laughs> and, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, shit, I got to get on a plane. I got a call, like, how am I going to get on a plane? And I just got surgery, mm. and I'm like, and then the, I get there, and I'm, like, laying on the ground all crazy in the, in, in the airport, and they're coming up to me, like, uh, we need to check you, sir. And I'm like, check me for what? Like, my temperatures and shit. And then all of a sudden, I get on the plane, and, but I had a whole row to fly home in. Oh, you did? Okay. So, because mm. no one was Nobody flying. was flying at that time. So I was like... So what is this like beginning of April, like or mid April? Yeah. Wow, in the midst of everything. Right in the middle. No, it was February. February. Okay, so mm, right before everything. Right happened. when it was like happening. Because it was yeah. bubbling. People were scared. Mm. Everything right really then. started to unfold here. I'd say like early March, mid March. Yeah. Because 
I was gonna I say knew, late March. I had a fucking a poker tournament like February first. So then, like, I think shortly after that, that's when everything started to really like. I, I was at Tampa. I was at Tampa like in March, and then I came home, and then it started Boom. to like actually kind of get shut down. Yeah, so yeah. mid March. You just got out of there in the in the, in yeah, the, nick, in the of nick of time. time, no doubt. Dude, well, it was it was crazy because I had a whole row, and I was just like just pilled up, <laughs> sleeping. Green whistle. But if green I had whistle. to sit there next to some, dude, green whistle is some shit right there. <laughs> I might have to actually do a green whistle graphic. There you go. Might be my next graphic. Call up Lucero. Let's and, get a green and whistle. It, and going. it comes with a green whistle. <laughs> you might want to, yeah. You might want to talk to somebody about that. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Hey, at your own risk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the legalities around this. What guy. about what about the smoke bomb in the pants? I always thought that was a funny oh, video. That's another Milton fucking it's, he special. Threw that in there. You took it so calmly, though. You were like, "What? I'm smoking." Like, all right, let me just. Hey, don't call smokes for nothing, dude. But, dude. Hey, fuck that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what though? Um, yeah, he was just. You know what the craziest part about that is? I thought he threw it inside my pants, but he threw it in my pocket. Your pocket. So the problem with it though is it was burning through my pocket into my pants. Mm. So then, right when I felt the actual like burn into my ass i had to take my pants off in front of hundreds of people <laughs> but you definitely raj if we could pull that up the the smoke bomb <laughs> He's you, like, but you what? handled it so how do you have this stuff though <laughs> don't worry we got we got stuff you're we into this stuff, stuff? <laughs> <laughs> we've been watching this one for a He's while on. if you don't got it i got it right here yeah, on my yeah. phone oh yeah dude, <laughs> like, Boom. dude, dude i watched it i watched it earlier we got her i watched it Ready. earlier oh my god i don't jeez <laughs> anyway i don't know if you could find we don't need it roger what was it in the, the it's so fu- dude, in the ditch? T- it's ditch. funny though. No, I'm joking it's with you. Funny. I'm joking with you. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It, it was actually really funny because I right when he did it, I I didn't I thought it was a firework. So it went from like smoking to me like, dude, if this is some sort of fucking mortar and, that's gonna yeah. go off in my oh, pants, oh my I'm gonna God, have to kill man. this little Argentina <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> But it was just a, uh, it was just a smoke bomb. Just a little yeah. smoky. But hey, your first initial, like, is this gonna pop? Oh yeah, <laughs> anything yeah. smoking yeah, yeah, out yeah, your yeah, pants, yeah. you're gonna be tripping. But if but, you didn't hear it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just think it's funny because, like, any I think any other person, if it happened to Kelly, myself, Ger- like any any of us, we would have freaked out, take it. But you were you were kind of like really nonchalant well, about it. You were kind of like looking around, like. Oh, this is really okay. Well, wait, let me take these off. I didn't like, know if it was, he was really... if, if it was if it was real. Like, like, are you really doing this right? Like, it's just. <laughs> but then I also looked at him, and he's 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 a skishy. So <laughs> I was like, dude, like, is this gonna pop? Like, is it gonna pop? And then it didn't pop. It and didn't then I realized pop. Well, that's after I had my pants off though, because. I just what's your first initial thing instant, dude yeah. take I'm, your pants off I'm, I'm glad you burning I'm, shit, like, I'm getting naked as fuck as long as I don't get a mortar in the ass I'm good <laughs> I'm glad you weren't free balling it yeah because, you know it could have been a whole other that different kind of been, video could have gone viral <laughs> <laughs> What was that? What was that on though? The King of the Road trip? Not no, King of the Road. Was, the, uh, this Thrasher of the Year or uh, Skater of the Year? No, that was on um, the Tick Ditch, where everyone's bombing down the ditch, the independent ditch. Oh, thing. okay, okay. He just decided to fuck with me. Me and Smokes have a good relationship where it's like it's a mutual agreement. Like I probably deserve that. Well, you, you guys fuck around with each other a lot because I he's you know he's uh, been but hey. <laughs> He's felt the wrath. He's, what have you done to him? Have you done anything weird like that to him? A lot of stuff, and there's a lot more that's going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> it's not over yet. It's, What's the best thing you think you've done to him? <laughs> um, fuck, what have I done to Smokes that has hurt him? That has hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't really know. Nothing that he's actually got a couple on me, so I'm going to I'm gonna have to muster up some good oh, stuff. Oh, he's, he's due up. then. Yeah, it's super due. He's yeah. due. Okay. Oh, interesting. He's, he's holding this tight, too. He's definitely yeah. going to get it. Oh, that's all good. I don't even care. <laughs> well, you handle, nah. you handle it well. You handle nah, it well. He, 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 you know what's crazy is when you're on the road with friends and stuff, like stuff goes down, and as long as you're not like, it's not like serious, then it's all good. Is that why, like, you try to act all chill? Because you're like, oh, this dude's fucking with me and I have to act chill? No, I actually, knowing him, he's kind of crazy enough to maybe put something in there that's going to mm. blow up. But he, it didn't blow up, so he's lucky, dude. I got it, though. It's all good. 
I can't even tell you what's going to happen next. <laughs> Let me give you an example of like, so what if somebody uh, took your box and sold it like on a trip? And you Has that happened it? to you? That's happened. Let's hear it. No, it, no, this yeah, is yeah, your yeah. interview now. <laughs> no, so I want to know what the hell happened. Who took you did that to you? Javante and fucking Chef. Uh, there you go. They, they really? Like, yeah, but they, bro, not just to me, to Rudy, to your a couple whole other, box or stuff out of stuff your box. out of the box. Okay. That would definitely be things would be missing. Missing. Yeah. Did you get a cut? No. Then that's fucked. I think was. I think it was a hazing process. Possibly. Who knows? Oh, so but you they bring did a, that. You bring a box in the van with you, or at the hotel, or what was it? Oh, that was in the van. Okay, so it's in the van, and they're just like going there. We're not looking. And they're like, yeah, just like, what? let me just figure out something to sell. And fucking thing. It happened to be mine and Rudy's box, I believe. And I was a little bummed. I can't say I wasn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's not cool. But this is, I was like 15, 16 years old. So they were probably like hey, 18. The hazing process. Yeah. That's what I was taking it as, I think, in hindsight. But what, like, well, they what, is, that, is that like an antic, or is that like something that no, would that be like. that shit happens. That's good. It's a good learning experience. Yes. I mean, there's been, dude, there's been so t so many times where people get hazed, but it's the way that you approach the outcome. Totally. You did a good job of not caring too much and talking about it now. I know. <laughs> Years later, this, I this, is, you. this, is, this has affected me. You've been holding on to this for a long I get, time. I get paid by the minute to counsel, <laughs> by the way. Hey, Dr. Phil is in the room. <laughs> Dr. Omar. Oh, walk me Dr. Dr. Larry. Dr. Dr. Omar. Larry, dude. <laughs> Hey, it's all good, dude. I've had some weird shit happen. Fuck. I remember one time my friend that passed away recently when he was a little guy. I was like, we were up for Blockhead together and uh, we were on a trip and I like pinned him in between this these beds. And all of a sudden, like years later, we went on this thing called the vert search. And I'm, I'm talking like 10 years later. And he was like, Six four, six four. <laughs> yeah. When I was doing this shit to him, he was like four two. Yeah, <laughs> he's younger than me. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, "Hey, remember the time?" And I was like, "Oh shit, yeah, no, I don't remember that." <laughs> <laughs> Did he get you back? Yeah, we wrestled for fucking like a week, but <laughs> he, he let me. I was like a like a little little cub trying to wrestle on him, but yeah, like that affected him for sure, dude. Ten years later, yeah, he yeah. was like, "Yo, dude, like, remember that time?" <laughs> I'm like, fuck. I've even had some weird people. Like, this sounds weird, but like, social media is fucked. Mm. I've had some weird people on social media hit me up and be like, yo, dude, like that one time, you you remember that one time you, you like dissed me or something? And I'm like, I don't really. And I had to sit there and think about it. Like, I don't even know who, the, who this dude is. And then it's just like, kindly reply back. Like, hey, sorry, bro, that I, I did that or you felt that way. Okay, I'm glad you just apologized. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, like you're holding on to this yeah, for a long yeah, yeah. time, yeah. and I'm like, no idea who these people are. Yeah, and but I'm you, like, but this could get weird. Are you an asshole? <laughs> I have been, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't consider myself like a like always an asshole. But you I have, have your been. moments. You have your moments. And, but I've never like I don't feel like there's one person I ever remember being like, yeah, I just. But when I get those uh, messages like that, it's like, and now I'm gonna get probably more messages. Are we getting, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say, uh, how, how many of these are? Out, hey, they're they're out hey, now. Bam! <laughs> how many of these a week are we getting? I no, mean, I just got on. one gnarly one that kind of made me kind of think twice because I'm like, yo, dude, for this guy just to, like just randomly message me this shit like you, you, you like it reminds me of that Eminem song. <laughs> oh, Stan. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's like, dude, I don't even remember meeting you, but this but you said sorry, and I'm apologizing. Like, and you know. I remember telling my one buddy, I'm like, dude, read this. He's like, yo, like, he's like, just, just like, just apologize nicely, and then see what happens. So I apologized, and then I was like, oh, just that's cool. I'm glad that you apologized, and that was it. Hmm. But like, I don't want to be walking down the street and just <laughs> blindly get yeah, attacked yeah. by some dude that I met in Ohio in 1994 at a demo that I didn't say hi to or something like right yeah i don't know man i got my actually my tooth got knocked out by this one guy when we were in ohio on an accident <laughs> 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 go, go ahead <laughs> and he came up to me dude we were at the bar playing pool and i was with chris ortiz and remy and the dude just i don't know why he did it and 
Ran- this is a random attack. A wow. random attack. We're at the par or at the bar playing pool. I was probably like, I don't even know. I might have even had a fake ID. I, it's like barely twenty one or something. No interaction with this guy. No interaction. Wow. And he was just like, "Yo, what's up?" And then we're all playing pool. He's like, "What's up, Omar Hassan?" Like whatever. And I'm like, just like, do what the, like what the fuck? And next thing you know, he just fucking just just clop just got me. Bam, tooth gone in my mouth. And then I'm like, oh. And then all of a sudden, me and Chris Ortiz and Remy were outnumbered by this group of dudes Tuesday that were man. skateboarders. Wow. In Ohio, oh, so man. we're running down the street. I think Mark Oblo was there. Mm-hmm. And um, so we're running down the street, and I'm like, I, I almost had a tear. I couldn't cry and shake. <laughs> I was too old. Yeah. That's when I was like five. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. This is a good therapy session. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I lost my tooth, and it was just out of nowhere. He just like he just attacked. Was this after a demo? Was yeah, this it was after, after a, a demo. Was we a, wrote it was for a Acme back in the day. Oh, Would okay. you try and, to and replay? Chris Ortiz is kind of a gnarly dude, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we were all sitting there like, dude, what the hell? How did this happen? And then I was just like, I get back to the hotel, and then sure enough, they're like, we're gonna go find the guy, and they're in the van trying to drive around. <laughs> were you trying to replay what happened that day like dude i'm scarred oh you see? have you seen my head <laughs> <laughs> no but that's a real story the dude just came up and knocked me and i was just like oh dude like you just marked me out right like, i'm a right. mark and then that was it and did now, you replay the beginning of the day like yeah. based on like the demo no, or I, the, I, any I swear interaction? i have no idea why he did that Fuck. i just think he just 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 wanted to square up maybe now that i look back maybe i did something that i don't know about right stepped on his toe was this shit. no that wasn't the dude who dm'd you though no <laughs> no different guy different guy you should that. dm that guy different guy and yeah. be like listen i'm you punched me it, he, he's at a bar he, he's still somewhere in ohio <laughs> We're like, yeah, I knocked that dude's tooth out. It was sick. And I'm still like, dude, you owe me a dentist appointment real quick. <laughs> no but yeah, no, that happened. Anyways, Goodness. I don't even know where we're going with this. No, it's this great. Insane. This is some this old stories. Yeah, yeah. I love stories. those. Hey, Ortiz will, will attest to this because Ortiz was like more mad than I was. But we were so outnumbered. We were running out of that bar. We were running. There was like so many of them running after us. And we just kind of... <laughs> Run for your lives. <laughs> you dispersed. <laughs> you go that way, I'll go yeah, this yeah. way. What do they say in the army? Retreat. Yeah. <laughs> retreat. Retreat. White flag. There's one thing that I do. <laughs> if, 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 if we want to switch directions, I, I do want to talk to you about, which I thought was super interesting, the first padless 540 in a yeah. pool. In 2004, though, I... I was trying to wrap my head around that. I'm like, I wonder why that had never been done before. Okay, this is the, the, the debate, the debacle. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> there is a debacle. There is. Okay. Because Danny Way did one at, I don't know if he made it though. Okay. I don't know. I wasn't there, but he has a photo doing one at the uh, motel, pink motel mm. in a backyard pool. Mm-hmm. But there hadn't been another one that I've known of ever done. I don't know if he made it, though. Danny would probably be mm-hmm. the one to talk to about that. But I remember seeing a photo of him doing one, and Burnett actually said something about it. Like, is it the first one or did Danny? It, like, who knows, dude? Like, So it's a toss-up. But between... I want to say he might have... There's not video footage of it that I've seen, because you would have seen that. So what happened in that situation is, like, Jake Phelps was like, we're, we're going to do an interview in Thrasher, like... Go do a padless. Go do a 540 in a backyard pool, but do a padless. Oh, it was his idea. So I'm like, wow. Okay. Like, okay. Did you, <laughs> did you know at that time? That it, <laughs> it was more like that. Did you know at that time that, that, that it hadn't been done? Or were you just like, okay? I just was like, okay. And, cause I, and then all of a sudden, I just, me and Lance Dawes went out to the, uh, vagabond pool and it was just me and him mm-hmm. no one there there was no crowd no x games no medals <laughs> <laughs> i was stupid you know what i'm saying like no you're doing a yeah yeah interview yeah so i'm like all right and then um i went out one day and i went and did it with pads and then jake's like it doesn't count you gotta do it without pads it's like all right drive four hours back out there and then all of a sudden me and Lance, same position. He's down there. I'm up there. Next one, bro. 
45 million tries later. And then I like just did it. And then that was it. And I just did a 540 in a backyard pool without pads. But the thing was, is no, it, no one had ever documented that I know of, of a 540 in a backyard pool with pads or without pads. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't even a big deal or anything, but just people don't think about skating raw spots and doing raw stuff. It's like, I don't know, maybe that's what it was. I just found right. it interesting that it was in 2004. Yeah. And it had no, like ruined or nobody had done it. Yeah. Like, wh- it kind of well, was like, what? That seems weird to me. Yeah. Especially because um, when you're skating a backyard pool that's not made to skate and it's like not perfect, mm. it's like you got to find a good one. True, yeah, true. One that you could do one in. This is true. So that's what I felt like that pool was like kind of a easier pool to skate to do that in. Mm. So without giving myself any type of credit. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, so Danny did his with the pads on or off? He has a photo doing it with his pads on. But that pink, oh, mo- see that with pink, motel, on. pink motel. That pink motel bowl is like But it doesn't perfect. even matter pads or not pads. There was just never it was never documented and and I I've never even actually thought about it or talked about it. But Burnett actually brought it up one time where he was like, "Yo, I, didn't Danny do one?" And I was thinking to myself, "Wait, mm-hmm. but I never seen any video." You would think that you, if he if he did it, he would have had pads on. There would but be video. either way, Shit. yeah, you Danny doesn't really skate without pads, right? Or does he? No, he does. He does. He has. Okay. But the whole thing is, I feel like in today's world is like, how much raw do you want to get? Or, or like, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? Sure. It, but yeah. it's not even about that. It just happened to be where I was put in a position by Jake to, to put me in a position to make it harder, which was a challenge that I felt like I accomplished. Mm-hmm. And I felt good about myself just for that alone. Because yeah. he was like, yo, dude, like, that doesn't count. And Jake's rules <laughs> suck. <laughs> <laughs> but... They but, also count. Well, there's progressing also, skating right there, dude. Yeah, but there's also something yeah. behind what he's yeah. trying to do. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. And who he wants to have for sure. do it, right? For sure. And and um, I, to, to be honest, I've had so many ups and downs with that guy where it was like such a love-hate thing with Jake for so many years because I've known him for so long. And, uh, you know, for him to, 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 his voice matters in my, at that time mm. especially, it mattered a lot. Right. Yeah. So that's the photo there. You could kind of see it there. First backyard pool, no pads. Is there a different approach of doing it without pads? Yeah, you can't. Well, you can't bail, obviously, in the same way. It's so weird because like I just ran it right out once I I, I learned it. I just ran it right out. That was perfect. You look like that was easy for you. Yeah, but that was like four hundred and fifty tries later. (laughs) Really, it was that. It took a long time. Oh, because. Yeah, because it was just like I said, it was just me and him. If you look in the background, there's, there's no, nobody there. Yeah, it's yeah. just us. Yeah. It wasn't like we went there to do that. We didn't we didn't go there to like accomplish something beyond a task that someone has told us to do. Right. right. You know what I mean? You had your guys' energy there, but when yeah. you have surrounding energy, there's just that much more like it's it's a lot more yeah. like like Satisfaction to someone to get a yeah yeah for sure for sure I, I get exactly. It's like what Jeff you're Raleigh when he went and, and grinded down the the Staples Center. Mm-hmm. That was Jeff going. I'm gonna do something yeah, different. I don't need nobody here. Yeah. I just need to that's get this a done. Jeff Raleigh thing. Yeah, Jeff. And if you know that, then you understand it. And it's 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 beyond. Even someone might have chicken scratched that thing before. I don't mm-hmm. know. And rollerblader probably did it one footed with the. <laughs> Yeah. Vape. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but Jeff Raleigh did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. on his own. Like <laughs> I'm gonna go tackle this thing yep. and open the doors. And that's kind of what I felt Jake was trying to get me to do in a sense. <clears throat> you know? And even if you did it with pads without pads, it's more or less like opening the door. Right. Yeah. Right. Did you like when you would do without the pads. You just run out of it every time? Dude, I have so much. I, I wish I had the footage with you to show me. I slammed so hard so many times. Yeah. Like Because well, you can't, obviously, you have to bail completely dude, there was differently. there a couple or a, even, I slammed harder with pads on. Oh, what? Because it took me a minute to figure it out. Oh. And then when I took the pads off, I, I didn't have as many uh, tries or challenge. It, it challenged me more to like, dude, you got to just make it and you got to run out of it. And then I flipped a couple times and just ran out of it like, why the hell did I even have pads on the first oh, place? Oh, yeah, yeah. But it was also, you know, like, kind of like 
it, I wasn't just doing it. I wasn't trying to prove a point to anybody, but I was, this sounds weird, but I was trying to f- throw it in Jake's face. <laughs> like, yeah, yo, yeah. dude, like, like you want to call me out on this shit? I'm going to rise to the occasion. And it was such a beautiful thing between both of us because he, he to this day, rest in peace, we, we took that one. You know, yeah. like we, we got it. And, and it's like, that's kind of like, you almost need someone to like, you know, when we were talking about people hazing you. Mm. He was trying to haze my ass. I think that's one thing about Phelps that definitely was kind of for misconstrued. Sure. Like he definitely knew how to push skateboarders. For sure. Mm. And you could take it the wrong way. And if you shy away from it and you take it personally... There's no respect for, mm. for, from him. From him, right. But if you take it and you take it to the next level and you actually just say fuck you, it's, there's a respect level that, that, that you can't even imagine that comes yeah. out of that shit. And, and then you realize why he hazed your ass. Mm-hmm. And you, it, it's, it's actually like a, a, a blessing in disguise. Right. Yeah. You got to take it for what it is. Yeah. You know? Some people, some not, people could not, you know... Uh, uh, take that well no. you know what I'm saying and there's been a lot of I say there was a lot of dudes that didn't didn't mesh well with for sure with right. and, dude you know, I've had so many interactions I've seen him do so much crazy shit to people and just be crazy but you know at the end of the day my relationship and what we had gone through there's ups and downs there's battles and then in the end we all came in on the same team I'm good he fucking made me do a lot of shit I never never expected that I could do. He brought some shit out of me. Even though it was more of like a test, just try to pass the test. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And I don't even know what to say. There's nothing like that 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 that's good or bad. It's just you know, it's like having a, a bigger brother that's gonna just beat the shit out of you until you finally just fucking stand up for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a but how, example. How was it like? Did you call him or how, how was the interaction after you uh, did it? Me and Lance Dawes, dude. <laughs> me and, hey, much love to Lance for sticking it out there with me, dude. Because we just like, me and Lance were just like, fuck, fuck Jake. We're going to do this shit. Yeah. And not fuck Jake in a bad way. Fuck Jake. Like, we got this. And yeah, we went yeah. and we drove the fuck out there and. And me and Lance nailed that shit, dude. And you know, it's a thing that it's a beautiful thing. And to this day, it's probably one of my biggest accomplishments and one of Lance's biggest accomplishments as a team with just two dudes going out to skate. Mm. And there's no fucking like demo. There's no fucking, you know what I mean? There's yeah. th- this is just us going like, like. Let's go get this stupid ass shit. <laughs> so sentimental. Yeah, so yeah. let's go get this stupid ass yeah. shit. Yeah, get it out the way. <laughs> yes. But it is. That's a beautiful thing, though. Yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what the skaters, filmers, photographers hey, have. Anyone that skates other. knows that. Hundred yeah. percent. How many times have you left a fucking spot and been like, "Dude, I was so fucking close, dude," and yeah. I just left. Yeah. And now I, I just physically and mentally drained. And and then you're like, but I don't want to go back. <laughs> but, you, but you do. But you yeah. have to go yeah. back. Yeah. For if sure. you really, if you really want it, you know what I mean. Like give it another effort. Uh, but even and then until it skate stopped, mm. <laughs> you're fucking going back. <laughs> you're like, jeez, it's yeah. thankful it's skate stopped. Right. Now I don't gotta, I don't gotta yeah. go back. Now. All of a sudden you get like a, a pass. Like oh shit, the cops came. They kicked him out. All right, fuck, good, I'm out. <laughs> now, how many times the cops ki- kicked you out? Yeah. I mean, How many times did it get dark? Yeah. Oh, dude, that was always rain. the worst. The, dark. the fucking rain mm. broke my leg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I remember That's the it. dark playing. Playing time with the sun was oh, always yeah. the worst because you're just you got to keep going. You, you t- like it told us not. Oh, yeah. There and you're talking to the filmer like still good. We still yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not. If hey, you're skating with Ty Evans too, you're gonna hey, you're gonna break the generator out. The, and the, I'm not trying to do that. The filmer to that point, you're like no. I'm done, dude. I'm yeah. not getting the generator out. Yeah, no, 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 the no. film I went from follow cam to straight cam to tripod. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're like, yo, dude, yeah. are we good? He's yeah. like, we're good. Don't he's worry. They're pressing the play. Yeah. He's yeah. Like, just sitting he's in the like, van with the like, remote control <laughs> on the phone, pushing play. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're ready. Yeah. No, but there's been times where yeah, you were it's so true though. You had to so get a true. trick. You filmed the trick, and it was during the daytime. It got dark, and then you got the lights out. You mm. get the trick, but you're like, I don't want to. I don't want it fucking during the nighttime, dude. Yeah. I want it during the. I had to go. Well, we go back all the time and do it during the day. So mm. I don't like that. Nice I mean, I, I I don't mind it, but 
but I'd rather have the footage in the daytime. Yeah. It's another yeah. psychological event that you're going through because you're already trying to get this during the day. Now you have to wait, yeah. have them set the lights up, do all this thing. It's different on tour. Yeah. On tour, you're kind of, right? But here at home, you're just like, bro. Dude, yeah. hey, relax on the generator. I'm about to go home and have some dinner, yeah, bro. Right? I'm hungry. We're yeah. going to hey. stop by Ruby Tuesdays <laughs> on, the- <laughs> yeah, on the way home. And if you make it, it's Red Lobster. That's right, yeah. baby. That's right. Hey, you know Cheddar what's crazy? Is that's when you know you're skateboarders, dude. Mm. We're all talking about some real shit. Like, we've all been put in that situation where you're like, fuck. And then, How's this one? This one's the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next one. No, I swear this one's going to be the one. <laughs> 40 drives later. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The filmer's just like. <laughs> <laughs> but if the filmer skates, it makes it easier. And I'm not saying that to people that don't skate. I'm not saying that to filmers that don't skate. But I'm going to be completely fucking real. If a filmer skates, he'll sit there all day long. All day. Mm. Oh, yeah. But if the filmer don't skate, then he's sitting there just like. (laughs) Yeah. Time's ticking. Yeah. And it's like, fuck you, motherfucker. I mean, but how often do you shoot with a a filmer that that doesn't doesn't skate, skate, though? That doesn't happen too often. Well, if they're good, they know how to work with the the skater super well. True. And then if they're not a good filmer, then they don't. And they suck. That's I've had a filmer go and get a sandwich mid fucking try. I'm like, what the fuck are you kidding me? I've never had something Bro. like that happen. Oh my god! Hey, I want to say, crazy. The filmer that skates is the one that will make that dude's video part. And if you have a, a good relationship with them, mm-hmm. like Greg Hunt, the man, and Anthony Van England. Oh yeah, the that man. skater Perfect. of the year was a formula of just geniusness. Can't can't repeat that. Because that are two dudes with one goal with the same mental, with the True. same like direction of life of like what they want to make out of this. And then the, it, it becomes magic and, and it works out. Right. So that has so much to do with like whether you're going to land your trick too. Because mm-hmm. if someone's making you feel weird and you're like, fuck, dude, I'm like, I'm wasting this dude's time. I just want to leave. That was a big yeah. problem for me is feeling. Yeah, I want to go home. Is yeah. feeling I want to cry. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> well, those two have worked for a lot of videos with each other. DC video and then the Alien, Alien video yeah. and then that video, Propeller. I mean, Stacy Peralta, dude. That dude, he's old school, but he skates. Yeah. Yep. Dude, this part is insane. So, I, I, this part is phenomenal. Not that I forgot about it at all, but phenomenal. you just. I just brought up a good point. <laughs> wow, that's what, dude. Hey, that's what Anthony Van England's another. Phenomenal. That that's an Orange County homie right there, dude. We yeah. wrote, we've skated together for years, man. Super proud of that kid. But this dynamic of filming mm-hmm. and skating together is exactly the recipe that it makes someone famous and makes success. You know what's funny sure. about what you're just saying, though, too, is like a pro skater can relate to that, an amateur skater can relate to that. A skater who is just filming with their buddies can relate to that. Yes, all skaters. And I, I didn't mean to use the word famous. No, no, no. I understand what you're. But, that's but like, it's just. But it's so funny that I said it. Right. You want to take it back? Yeah, I'll take okay. that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, but any but it's a skateboarding thing. It no, doesn't it, matter. It's a it's a it's a human interaction that 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 makes a recipe for someone to push themselves beyond mm-hmm. their own means. Mm-hmm. And it also has. It, it's like Greg Hunt got a better feeling probably than Anthony did. For some of these through, tricks, for sure. Through just his understanding of the patience and the understanding of the what it took for Anthony to do these tricks. Yeah. Right. And to be in the, both of those positions and have that recipe is a hard one to come by. For yeah. sure. A hundred thousand percent. Wait, no. There's more than that. <laughs> 200,000? <laughs> yeah. Million percent. That's got to be a bigger percentage, dude. Yeah, but it's hard to recreate that. It's hard yeah. to... Even the timing of where oh. they are in their careers. And there's a lot of different... I'm just using them as an example. Thousand percent. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm using it as an example. Man, this is cool to watch this again, man. This is. I haven't seen this for days, bro. Yeah. Hey, as you, as every, you know, that's the thing about skating is there's this 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 is just a glimpse of timing of radical stuff. There's so many other combinations of humans. Like when I said Stacy Peralta with that, all that Powell stuff he did. That was genius. Yeah. Like, like that guy is beyond his years, and it's even old now. Well, I think even like well, animal, animal Chin always gets brought we're up. Still in, searching for animal. <laughs> always gets brought up in conversation. Is going to be one of the best videos of all time. Mm-hmm. I think yeah, right is in that category too. Top I think five, a, at yeah, least for sure. I was really stoked on a new Lakai video. 
I thought the new Lakai really video good. was cool because I thought it showcased a group of like homies that skate together that rip together and no one was like forced to do what they had to do yeah it so. always is nice to see that and, and feel that in a video because there's a lot of videos that come out that you're just like eh, they're just well, not no, no sure. they're like they're probably, i had to film this mm. oh yeah 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 is there an era of time in your life that you would stick to if you could choose like hey when i was two years old when i was <laughs> yeah. 10 yeah. this is the this is the years that that dude that this I year would, this this, this last it. dude this year and last year have had some of the best years of my life. That's so yeah, awesome. I'll be honest. Okay, I well, feel like you've had I, a I, lot I got of that good chicken years. scratch board slide in Barcelona. Okay, and that was like one of the best times of my life when I board slid this hubba in Barcelona. And when you fell on the the hubba, yeah. Okay, I think that's on your Instagram, right? It's on yours. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I posted it. Yeah, so the best right. part about that, to be honest, oh yeah, the reason why this was such a beautiful moment for me is because mm -hmm, these kids That's so sick. did not have to sit there. They could have done it first try, right? They could have done it fourth try. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how long? How many tries did it take you? Well, like four hundred and four tries. But the beauty of it was. The fact that they actually sat back and was like, yo, dude, this is your time. Yes. We're going to, and then we partied our face off after this because <laughs> that's, did. That's special, we bro. had such a unity of, of, of love and, and a commitment and just like, and look at Gio lip slid it Giovanni with me. He's, he's, that kid right there he's is insane. Nerdy. He's super nice. I mean, you took some good ones on this, bro. So you ask me though, what what is the best time? This this yes. right now, <laughs> this moment, and this the, this energy that I get from these kids, right? It, it's still alive. I, love, I, I, I love still that. I, love I still appreciate all their support and love. And it's it, if it wasn't for them, like having any kind of like care or understanding about who I am and what I like to do, mm -hmm. then I wouldn't. I would be shriveled up like the Wicked Witch of the West. Well, I think it's rad because you, Omar Hassan, like are loved and respected by every generation. Yeah, yeah even you new are. Kids, you definitely. know what I mean? Well, it's like, funny. That's what's it, rad. It, it, like, look at this. this. Look at this. Yeah. I'll, even, it's incredible. Even if someone didn't know who you were and going on a trip with you, they would fall in love with you like right away. Yeah. Because of your dude, I'm going to say this, dude. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> Did you did you leave blood? <laughs> did you leave blood on the curb? Did you leave nah, blood? Dude. Look at that, hey, left, man. bro. I left blood. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh shit. Blood stains. Well, there's one clip where like your hand is shaking or something. Dude, my whole body shakes. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude. He worked for that shit. There man. was another clip too where you. Uh, oh, right there. God. Woo. There was another clip though that was it was same kind of vibe. It was like a board slide on the bump to rail. Flat and was the same kind of everybody was super, super pumped. My thing is like if you're gonna be put on a trip with these kids and they're willing to like say, Yeah, you can go on a trip with me, then I'm not gonna sit in the background and, and I want I wanna get what I can get, even if it's just a little chicken scratch uh -huh, compared uh -huh. to what they got. Sure. So, I wouldn't say that, but go ahead. Giving it your all and actually caring and, and not being like, um, like even in my situation, I know my, where my, my position and my level when I'm on a trip or with my friends and how these kids skate mm -hmm. and I'm not trying to compete with anybody. I'm competing with myself. Sure. And we were talking about competitions. I'm not in a competition to win. I'm not, a comp I'm just in a competition to make myself feel good and roll away from something. Right. Mm -hmm. And nine out of ten, I got that one try that I fucking roll away from. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm good with that one try, that one roll, you know? Totally. And that's it. And that's all I can ask for. And I, I, I don't take anything for granted. Like, all the love that I get, and even you guys having me here, like, there's there's not one part of my body that's like, dude, don't, like, I'm... I rip like I fucking shredding, dude. Like you, do, you definitely don't. Do you know per, what I mean? Per, like, like there's not like, like I I know that I am like twenty one, and age and getting twenty. Oh, going 21. on twenty two. Gracefully, hey, twenty one. 
21. 21 <laughs> Savage, <laughs> motherfucker. <Yeah. laughs> I'm a savage and I'm 21. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, I, I'm I'm totally like like I, I really appreciate all you guys love and, and this goes across Dude. the board. Yeah. Like this isn't just being here. This is like being out in life, being like Grant Taylor mm. is a huge fucking um advocate that I, I I love to death. Like to be on the teams that I'm able to be on, to be a part of Volcom, to be a part of Vans, and I'm not trying to sell these brands and I'm not rapping again. <laughs> I'm just saying like these dudes that let me into their world no, and let me sure. be a part of their world. I'm like like I'm in a very lucky and I'm I don't take it for granted and I try. I try so they don't they don't be like, look, we let you in here and all of a sudden you're just going to fucking watch like no dude, skate rip. I will yeah. say that Did that make sense? No, no, no. no. <laughs> fucking made sense. I will say that Shoot. you've earned it. This is insane. No, no, you've earned it. You deserve it, you know? You you uh you Now do. you're rapping. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's coming no. out soon. I think the rap is about to break out. <laughs> no, but okay. Like, my point my point is let me say it better than this that than that is for me to still have a foot in mm. and be able to have like a, 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 a an advantage to be able to go on trips, hang out with these dudes, skate with these guys, see actually it live. It's like, I'm like a fan as much as anyone else when it comes to seeing the shit live. And if I can be front row, front center, mm -hmm. when someone's doing something cool, then I soak it all in and I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, for sure. But it is it is it is well deserved, yes. and you you've earned a spot to be there for sure. There's a reason for you to be there. Bro. Yes, hundred percent, dude. I I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. <laughs> but you are getting old, huh? Yeah, I'm senile <laughs> at nine. It's past your bedtime. No, it's, yeah, it's yeah. way past your bedtime. Yeah, it is. Yeah. No, but for real, no, like, we, thank you. I appreciate dude, it. We are just we're stoked to have you because you are you you're a skateboarder man live breathe it you are the no, epitome you know what? Okay. of this that. is this is what i also have to say is like when i was given the opportunity to skateboard and be professional skateboarder mm -hmm. i have ran that one for a long time and i don't really know anything else right and i'm not going to sit there and be like uh, lie about it you know what I mean mm. uh, but since that's my position in this world and, and in my life I'm going to try and I'm going to run it as hard as I can go what would you want to do would you want to be like a team manager like a Vans team manager because I, I feel like you 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 have that in you where you, you bring the hype you bring like people will be stoked to go on a tour that you set up and, and are in charge of you know but kind of similar to like uh, Chris Fanner out there in Europe how dude, he's doing dude it. Chris Fanner is doing a, a phenomenal he's killing job he's killing it all the video all the video he's shit that they're doing out there than ever and he's as good as everyone out there Yes. Would you? Does that something that it like interests you or no? I mean, would yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> shaking, you, you were shaking your head yes, but you answered no. I can see you doing. But it. I no, feel hey, like hey, you would be hey, good. Anything's at Anything's possible, yeah. dude. Right. I might own the nine club fucking tomorrow, dude. You guys might. You guys might be answering to me, son. And hey, wouldn't it be a bad that person? That would be amazing if you were our boss, dude. Hey, yeah. I would love to be your boss. Yeah. <laughs> I see that you got the serious tone. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, hey, me and Rick Ross. <laughs> Do we, should, should we get a beat going? Oh shit! No, because then you're gonna throw me under the bus, and then I'm like Gus, and oh. then it's disgust. Uh, mm. uh, get a beat. You don't even know how to. You don't even have a beat. I mean, so, we'll get a beat going. Can you get, oh, can you get like a, a beat box? What do you want? You got a, you a beat box. I can do a little beat box. We're gonna get a beat. Oh yeah, you want to do do it live or we want to get ready? a beat? Are we live? Should, should we get hey, like? Are a, we live? <laughs> yeah, dude. Duran, let's on, let's on. get it. Let's ready? get dubs. <laughs> All right, right. You want me to? Oh. What do you want me to talk about? Give me a subject. Give me a subject. Kelly, please give me a subject. Beer. I got a beer. Check it out. I'm like a deer. I'm like a steer. I'm over here. But I don't need a hearing aid. Understand me? Because I'm like lemonade. I'm super sweet. I'm super fucking hot. Understand me? I'm coming at your nose like snot. I'm crazy. I'm motherfucking amazing. I'm grazing like a cattle. A saddle. I'm raising. I'm pruning up. Check it out. Always gooning up. Now say enough. 
do we gotta understand Snap back like a rubber band Check it out, god damn I'm the man And you are the man So understand that I'm like Green eggs and ham Fuck Uncle Sam Cause I pay my fucking taxes Check it out Look back says bitch Cause I gotta understand That I understand Snap back like a rubber band Again and again and again <laughs> Hey First Get this try. guy Get this guy a Yeti mug, dude, and we're going to be out of here. There it is. I got you. Wait, you want to grab some? So what's Omar doing right now? What I'm are hanging we... out with you guys at the nine club. Get... I... You already know. I think. Maybe. Like, what, what, okay, do, what, what am I doing with my life? Anything? Yeah, what's going dude, it on? It sounds like a life counselor that I just. I mean, I want to know. I want to know. Dude, I, I'm just, you know what I'm doing with my life? I'm trying to make the most of. My daughter, mm -hmm. my girl, mm -hmm. my family, yeah, yeah. my parents, my friends. Yes. Put it in them all first and just ride my skateboard and, and trying to enjoy my life the most I can enjoy. I love that. Travel yeah. the world if I can. Give me a ticket. <laughs> I'm out there just like trying to have fun. You know what I mean? Like, and, and But the responsibilities are there. I For understand sure. that. I'm not like... As much fun as it seems like I'm always having, you know, with the Larry shit. Like, what's up, Larry? We want to party with Larry. Like, no, dude, there's like another part of Larry that's Omar that actually has to get shit done. Is there an alter ego of the get shit done? Does he have a name? Like yeah, it's called Omar. What the hell? Saying, I was, like, I was just telling you this. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> no. Maybe maybe it's, but like, maybe it's hey, Carl. For Omar know. to get shit done is... The only way that Larry survives. Okay. <laughs> this is it true. takes Omar for Larry to. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. I mean, there's a seriousness. I, I like to have fun, just like everybody else, right? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. right now, I could leave this place and go home, right? Or I can go get Larry or whatever. But you at the end of the day, tomorrow, I have to do the same responsibilities as every other human being to do my thing. And then it's hard to. I've had uh, issues with figuring out how to balance all that shit mm -hmm. because riding a skateboard you have to be physically mm -hmm. able to ride a skateboard <laughs> true you have to be able to pull the larry part out and then wake up the next day without feeling like larry and mm -hmm. be omar mm -hmm. and that's my life right in a nutshell yeah. Yeah. and you've learned to balance i you're, think so yeah you're only 21 now <laughs> yeah, so you I mean, still got a little yeah i mean dude it's all good i pay i pay my bills my bills i'll pay <laughs> <laughs> That's a plus. <laughs> Did you get another Paloma? He, he went up. Again. Okay, I got one. I got one. Yeah. What you want more now? No, no, no. I'm good. First of <laughs> all, you want more? <laughs> First you want of more all, madness. Oh my! Hey, bro. thank you guys, dude, man. Come back hey. anytime, dude. Hey, we'd for love sure. to have you here. The oh, stories dude. are incredible. But here, we're gonna leave you with a couple things. Here's a. It's gonna get cold soon. So here's a little nine club, <laughs> little crew neck. Put that on next time you go out to the. Uh, Cassidy's and yeah, I go to Cassidy's. Yes. <laughs> and uh, catch keep, a disease, we call it. Keep <laughs> those feet warm with the little nine club. Dude, stand that's socks. pretty sick. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't playing. I'm gonna wear this stuff with short shorts. Oh, <laughs> send us a photo. All right. Yeah. And also, stay hydrated out there, man. Nine club Yeti, right there. Hey, bro. much love. Hey, yeah, I'm dude. be honest. Thank you guys for doing what you're doing because you know that conversation we were talking about skateboarding. Like we're all just actually like trying to ride our skateboards mm. we're battling not only on the skateboard off the skateboard and just doing our thing and when you, what you guys are doing mm -hmm. is super positive for skating i think everyone needs a, a, a outlet something to listen to something to understand mm. and some sort of like entertainment we appreciate that thank yeah, you definitely. thank you dude. yeah we, we it, yeah it's fun it's fun we're, we're just we're just a couple skaters talking having fun that's having a, a beautiful thing just a couple dudes having a beer that's right that's having right. a Wings and arrow and a Paloma <laughs> and a... No, thank you guys so much. Dude, I really appreciate it. You're appreciate the man, Omar. You, thank you, bro. Hey, thank you, dude. Group hug? Yeah. 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 <laughs> is this the first group hug? Yes. <laughs> that is the first group hug. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Straight up, man. It's all Man love. love. It's all man love. love. Let's go. All day. <laughs> <laughs>